creation. A world on the brink. In the age of sorrows, dangers abound and cataclysms loom on the horizon. But it is not without heroes. The exalted, those chosen and empowered by the mightiest of the gods, are all around the world. They have, and can, pull a pack from the precipice of oblivion. That is when they aren't too busy fighting each other. Now, chills as Aura. Eto. Bleh. And Ed. You won't be seeing me for much longer. Horak as Lathander. So, uh, you guys booked the hotel, right? What, what do you mean you didn't book the hotel? Alatos. Y you were specifically in charge of booking the hotel, Rex. Alatos as Gavel. Why do I have to be the one that gets their rank pulled out of everyone? <laughs> and Gamerex as everyone else. Keep your stinking paws off me, you damn dirty apes! Must band together to save the Dreaming Sea, and perhaps reality itself, from the greatest threat creation has ever known. All this and more Rock me, on Fate Breakers. Eolda, what happened last time? Mm. Uh, how fucking dare you ask that question to me, you fucking monkey? In fact, I take offense at this entire farce being narrated by a goddamned human! Korak, you live physically closest to Gamer X. I hereby Imperial decree you to march over to where he lives and stop this podcast. <laughs> huh. And furthermore- <laughs> Alright, I have uh, shoved him back. I have shoved the older back beyond uh, the fourth wall. Uh, he's clearly not going to be cooperative. Uh, uh, oh wait, I have a backup for, uh, summaries. Uh, Yachtan, what happened last time? Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, no, I can't get the summary from her either. She just called me a ton of slurs. Uh, pl <laughs> players, what happened last time? Oh, goodness. So? I don't know, I disassociated for, like, eight Everything years. went wrong! Everything went both right and then immediately wrong. Oh, wait, yeah, no, I remember last time. <laughs> I said the funny things. Oh, you nearly you almost triggered the boss. You fight. were banished. Yeah, you. That you were been banished fun. to gay baby jail for attempting to you dissolute own... this. No, I'm not. Uh, fine, if you're banishing me to gay baby jail, good luck. I'm just gonna pl continue playing Goodness vampire sakes. survivors. Ialda was almost completely aggroed on. Uh, but before that, because they deserved it. But, but before that, <laughs> Cavill. Managed to convince Malik, uh, Malik to be like, yo, but heaven, though, it's gotta go, man. And he, he did a side to the camera. It's like, it does gotta, it do be like that. It and then, do be like that. And also some other this stuff. Bitch of a it creation. Do, yabba dabba do be like that. We're that. almost successful in stopping Gnosis's plan to obliterate the entire wild hunt because it turns out, yeah. uh, that would have resulted in summoning Yolda. Unfortunately, Yachtan had a, had a final contingency plan to drag him through via powerful sidereal magic that is going to get her in a lot of trouble at work. Yes. There is an upside to forcing her to do that, however, which we open on on a brief cutaway to uh, Red Hand Rebirth with a uh, corkboard... With a Pepe Sylvia style corkboard linking a crude sketch of Lythan. Pepe Sylvia doesn't work here! <laughs> linking a crude sketch of Lythander to a bunch of other shapes and incarnations throughout history. She is, as she is doodling, she notices that a page vanishes from the copy of the broken winged crane she is riding nearby. Ah. The ritual to summon Yolda can now never be used again. Okay then. That is permanently off the board as. Whatever Yachtan had to do in order to engage that, it it affected all of the Broken Winged Crane. Uh, every single copy of it in the world. Now they're going... So now the funny... Now he can only be summoned properly with Third Circle Sorcery. <laughs> Yay, I think. Whoa. And there are no Third Circle Sorcerers in creation. <laughs> yet. <laughs> Oh no! Don't worry, the DM will f will pull one out of their butt sooner or later. Uh, not quite. Uh, 
If anything, the first one to that path is probably going to be Gavel if she continues going down the sorcery tree. Oh, well, that's me. Now, there are several Third Circle necromancers, but that's for later in the plot. Uh, for now, we open on uh, the Isle de Jeffrey, where the only reason Yolda has not commanded everyone to self-destruct Code Gaia style is Aura's cool it field. Oh, goodness. We open with a rundown on... A third circle demon requires a full, a full circle of exalted in order to even stand a chance at victory. Thankfully, we have quite a few allies of questioning strength. New A is finally healed up from the fate poison. And she... Oh, I forget. Is Spider dead? No. Well, he's an abyssal, so he's undead. But he is still up and moving, if that's what you're asking. Yeah. Shame. <laughs> that's always nice. Yeah, Spider has a grand doom hanging over him right now because uh, Gnosis temporarily lifted and then unlifted the oath. And Spider really just wanted to give you a challenge to help his best friend Lythander grow. Oh, goodness. Little did he know, I'm already at full mast. Bro. Don't go good. Anyways, I'm going to give him a cracked up finish. Don't it's a good thing uh, Joktan's not physically here right now. Anyway, uh, Nui is looking up... Well, that's that's out of character, so... I'm doing a slight retcon to what Yolda physically looks like. He looks like a fusion... He's still blue and purpley. He looks like a fusion of this man. And, uh... Let me pull up the other Google search result. Is that uh, there we go. Is that a Star Trek? Yes, that's a Star Trek. And, uh, this man... Okay. It looks like if you face more Ricardo Montalbán and Charles Heston together. I see. So it's the man it's at the top with the beard. Uh, yeah, with the facial structure of, uh, yes, with the beard and uh, a powerful uh, uh, chest, a chest as powerful as Clive from Final Fantasy sixteen. I see. Ayo. He has the biggest. He has the biggest cleavage here. Damn. Anyway, Nui is, um, uh, currently, um, Yelda is standing, uh, like, at a particularly high vantage point looking over Jeffrey, and oddly enough, he appears to actually appreciate Jeffrey. Oh, this is a very fine Good. creature. Thanks, he was born. I'd kill him if he didn't. Uh, Nui is looking up and down, and Crab walks over to Aura. What's the plan? What the fuck do we do against him? A third circle demon is here right now. I don't know if we're ready for that. Look, as far as I can tell, as long as the field, as long as the truce field remains up, we're going to be fine. So what we're going to do is we and him, is we and him are going to have a chat. And then throughout this chat, we're going to attempt to get him to peacefully leave. That's the whole plan. Hey, yo, get off my, get off my, uh... You're still monster. supernaturally silenced. Unfortunately, he has the subtle speech expression that lets him convey things without speech. I would like to use that and just flip him off. <laughs> well, thankfully, he's facing the other way, so he doesn't see it. Hmm. Coward. Oh, goodness. So, uh... General Malik appears behind Lathander. Save it. I flip him off. You know what? That's fair. Regardless, as much... And point off of Jeffrey. As much... You can't defeat a third circle demon on your own. As much as I would rather... Finish the job of the Wild Hunt for being here... That bitch upstairs... Summoned a much bigger problem that everyone is going to need to take care of for us before returning to re-establishing the hierarchy. So for now, I'm going to have to put up with you, and you're going to have to put up with me, until we've taken the living natural disaster off the board. I'm still supernaturally silent, so I'm going to use a subtle gesture to tell him where to shove it. <laughs> All right. 
Now, how can I approach this? Amalik is going to try a persuade action on Lathander. And mm. still. I will say no. Well, let him roll the action. I am going. If he fails, I'm taking a hard bargain of hatred. What's your resolve? I think it is four. Okay, so in this case. Uh, he is trying to do an instill action towards uh, creatures of Malpheus. Really need to be taken seriously. Are our, our massive I mean, threats. I would like to point at the uh, second circle demon that we obliterated. He raises the second circle demon in his arms as Gedesvin, the cursed spear, and just waves it at you. I la I try to laugh. You laugh and you laugh in a uh, sign language. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Uh, so are you accepting an intimacy? We could also go with a hard bargain other than the uh, rage intimacy, too. Uh, the I'm taking the rage. There's also I don't like all it. Alright, there's also another intimacy that can potentially be gone with here in order of just... Hmm. In intimacy of instead you... Instead of taking him of Yolda more seriously, you take him less seriously. Oh. I mean, I am already going to take him less seriously anyway. Well, this is a hard bargain in order to put an intimacy of Malth uh, creatures of Malpheus, objects of ridicule, and would convince you essentially to troll them relentlessly. And because you're a lunar, that would mean any action to troll a... Demon gets a one die bonus that can go over cap. Yeah, sure, I'll take okay. it. Okay. Go ahead and write that down on your sheet. Probably under wonder. Uh, let me actually pull up my sheets. So while that's happening, I would like to start the this social combat encounter by... Uh, I, it's not going to be social. No, nah, I'm going to make it social. Mode of discerning technique. I'm going to make it not. <laughs> oh uh, is it a major or minor? Or so, minor into this. Minor. And what did you say it was again? Troll Malphius? Uh, Well, I would word it as uh, creatures of Malphius, objects of ridicule. Okay. Shove the king of the demons inside his own asshole and then shove everyone else inside there. Yeah. Alright, so what's a mode of discerning technique? Go ahead and roll that against Yolda. As he's doing the perfect cell standing at the edge of the arena right now. And as that is going on, um, Malik then approaches Gavel. I'm going to regret this, but I do have an idea on how to deal with him so we can finish ours, so we can settle our matter. Oh, do you now? Oh my god, that's a lot of successes, but let's resolve this conversation before the questionogram. I have within me the capacity to grow a cornucopia of food in a matter of moments as a blessing of the dragons, and moreover, it grows into the pattern of a feast. Okay, I'm not following you here. The goat man told me he could enforce a ceremony so that violence cannot break out. I see. Well... If we invite him to dinner, then he will not be able to try and make people explode with his mind like he did with her. Gavel bites the bottom of her lip. Son of a bitch, this is what he was talking about. Um, yes, I suppose that could work. Uh, I, su I suppose we have nothing to lose at this point. For now, I do recognize, as I told him, points jabs a thumb over at Lathander, that he is a much bigger threat than you are, and we cannot let him... I, uh, produce two metal fingers at him. <laughs> he ignores you. 
So before I shove them into his ears. A gust of wind mm. blows you away. I resist it. All right, mm. roll a uh, physique plus fortitude. Oh boy. All right, I uh, said physique plus fortitude. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a stunt. Yeah, that yeah, that's stunt worthy. See what we got. <laughs> Nine successes. You get twenty dice. Fine. All right, I go with the real number. <laughs> Three. That's enough. So you do uh, mid conversation. He now I can't physically attack him because that would break. The uh, the solar anathema's truce field. Would you kindly tell Lathander to behave? Lathander, behave. I look directly into Gavel's eyes. I need to and shake my head. No. I need to actually talk with him. As much as I don't, you can see Lathander just wanting to kill everybody. I'm aware. And get it over with. I'm aware you want to because it's the easiest way to deal with all these guys. Apparently, anymore. I'm aware that it is simpler to just murder them all. But we've gotten ourselves in a very, and I mean extremely, bad situation here. So we just need to play nice this one time. Like Thander just looks at a spider still around. Uh, far in the distance, yeah. He's just skipping stones into the Lythander ocean. Like Thander just looks at Spider and kind of signal using his uh thing to put across the message of at this point in time, the Spider's right. We've been trying, we've been making, we've been trying to do things without violence for too long that people think that we're weak. Uh... We just need to get through this, Lythander, and then we can properly get some more action instead of go. No, it's not action Lythander's looking for. He's looking for the extinction. The great cities weren't built in a day, Lythander. Looks, Lythander sh does the symbol for, symbol for El Dorado. <laughs> That's... Was because of fey magic. You know that's different. It also wasn't that's built in a regardless. It also wasn't built in a day either. It, was built in a it day. also wasn't built in a day either. I know because I made it. <laughs> yeah, that took centuries of effort, but fi finalized in a day. Oh, it's not the man. same. In either any case, oh, oh, Gavel, you first. Either way, Lythander, just please let me talk with Malik, and we can get this. And then once we get. Our dear Lythander our de makes a sign with as for a clock to show ten minutes. Fine, that's all he's giving. I can you. do that. I can fin I can wrap this up in ten. Thank you. Lythander nods. <laughs> the true final boss of the campaign. All right, fucking Lythander, convincing all right, Lythander uh, you to have interact with the plot. Aura, you have five questions to ask. Okay. From your great fancy list. Allow me to finish chewing my food, and I will procure them. Om nom nomers. All right. I'm going to go ahead and post the list on the chat so you guys can remember what the questions are and, and argue between yourselves. Also invent questions in the spirit of these kinds of questions as well. All yes. right. So five out of the, so we can choose five of these. Okay. Um, okay, I don't know that one. No, maybe. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we, he, it's, it's probably safe to argue that he does feel extremely negatively mm, about negative me. About us. Oh. Uh, do the character and I share a virtue? I didn't even know if demons could have virtues. All characters have virtues. What are your virtues? Uh, Your last rewards. Good, good. Uh, let me check. Uh, virtues, a wonder and compassion. No, you do not share a virtue. Okay. So that's one, I assume. Yes, but that narrows it down from a list of seven to five. What his virtues are. Right. We could benefit from that. Uh. 
How can I get the character to do what I want? I think it's a pretty good one, considering that's what I want. Uh, you mentioned considering it. I want him to leave. Give me a moment to think about that. Because what he wants is here in creation. Yeah. Hmm. C convince him that now is not the right time. Hmm. That now is not the right time for the human instrumentality project. Something like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a really easy way. I I just realized that there's a really easy way to solve this conflict. But it involves making our lives even worse in the future. <laughs> we could say, hey, uh, we're planning to have a conflict with a, a large scale conflict at around uh, this point in time. Maybe come visit back then, and that might be like a good, a good time for you to have your cool pet project, dude. <laughs> the and same then at the work for at, Octavian, and then at the end, at the end of the campaign, after we're done wrapping up and like fighting the Death Lord or whatever, uh, <laughs> Yoctan shows up. He's like, "I'm back. It's going down. Secret boss fight, Epic. bitch." I'm Sephiroth oh, now. <laughs> uh, next. Uh, what haven't I noticed about the character is one we could ask, but I'm not sure if we should. Question. Are you, uh, my question, are you stronger than a Death Lord? Want to is he it? stronger than a Death Lord? That would be a one question Lysander suggested. In a potential in a uh, potential game show. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, yes, exactly correct. About up there in terms of Takashi's castle, with how many people clear that? Very few. Oh, God. Mm. <laughs> so okay, comparatively to 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 things we fought before, how strong is this guy? I'll allow that as a question. He. In terms of strength levels, he would be the strongest thing you've fought so far. However, from the damage described previously, the ritual from the broken wing crane used to drag him here is deeply flawed, and as such, he was weakened via the summoning. So, his combat prowess right now is only a little bit stronger than Octavian was. However... So pretty no, good. Octavian almost killed one of you guys, I remember. Yes. Additionally, yes, it was me. So it Additionally, was a third circle demon, I mentioned this off camera, I'm going to reiterate this here, is as much a place as it is a person. There's the pesky issue of when he goes into combat mode, you're going to have to figure out how to kill the stage in addition to how to kill him. Yes. That's gonna be complicated. Easy, I just make the state make it my stage. Fun funny Gosh, thing about fine. third circle demons is that they have some very powerful magic. Yes. Perhaps powerful enough to fuck with your stage. Hmm. Yeah. I so I, uh, I feel like that I feel like that also counts as uh that also counts for what haven't I noticed about the character, because I wouldn't have noticed that he's weakened. Uh, I gave that to you for free, so I'm not going to give that another question slot. That was something uh, stated last session. Yeah. All right. Um, what else? Um, what do I have that someone here wants? Now, the interesting note is this doesn't have to be Yolda. But you could ask if you have anything that, that, that he wants in this context as well. True. But uh, the question is, uh, who else would I even direct this question toward? Good question. Uh, yeah, what do I have here? What do I have that 
Eolda wants. The Ashen wants. As a resource. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, he wants. Ah, oh, it's so. Yeah, you you thought it was uh you thought it was Evangelion, but it was actually a uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Let's. It's go. a little bit of both. Uh, and finally, my favorite. Uh, what grudge is being hidden? Gonna reveal one of his intimacies here as uh, to answer that question. Major tie towards the exalted. Utter loathing. Oh, mm. he hates us. Uh, he hates us. Yeah. Okay. He hates us, hates us. Yeah. Okay. And this applies to it. all exalted except infernals. Ah. Oh. Oh, shit. Wait. If he hates... So Gavel is yeah. loved. <laughs> Surprisingly. So, More... wait. Uh, more, a bit more accurate to say Gavel is not hated, which is something else other than loved in this context. Yeah. So would that mean oh. that the bet, the most effective, the most effective move is to allow Gavel to resolve the to to lead the social encounter and attempt to oh, no. in attempt oh, to support no. her. That seems like a pretty accurate way to interpret that information. I see. In that case, yes. I think I know how to strike at this uh, at this particular social encounter. All right. If you would right. allow it, uh, Malik would spend two motes to activate uh, a sweeten the tap method in order to give everyone double nines on this social scene. I thought he was gonna. Oh. I, I thought he was gonna propose dinner. That's what that is. Oh, good. And additionally, um, additionally, uh, two months are being spent from the shepherd on faultless ceremony to make it more difficult for violence to break out. Good. Uh, rolls will be required in order to br break that. And then Gnosis spends a moat to activate the hidden sub mode for uh, sweeten the tap method. Uh. Two double nines on actions to cause enmity between Lythander and and Eolda. Oh, nuts. He's going to continuously make Lythander a bigger and bigger object obstacle. Oh, Perhaps more interestingly, he's going to try and make Lythander break the truce field. Oh, brother. Oh, I was planning on doing that anyway. Anyway. Well, Mr. Yolt, well, Sir Yolda, um... I, I'm glad nice. you made it to my island despite your... Uh, well, 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 Solar, I made it to your island despite your lousy directions. Ah, Superintendent Yolda, welcome. I hope you're prepared <laughs> for an unforgettable luncheon. Yes. <laughs> Malik. He got my roast is ruined. I need you to... I need you to go to the Golden Arches and fetch... And, and fetch <laughs> some patented burg some patented burgers quickly. Let me finish my this... isometric exercise on this behemoth. Stretch my calves. I'm stretching my calves on this behemoth. Isometric exercise. Care to join me? It's a good thing Jock Tan's not here. We would all be taking hard bargains. Mm-hmm. Alright, so after Steam Tan's bit, we cut to everyone at a dinner table. A dinner table stretching from one end of Jeffrey to the other, and every member of the Ashen Ones is there. Yay. Yolda is at one head of the table. Who's at the other head of the table? Gavel. Oh, okay. boy. Is it, I'm assuming... That's a strange way to say like that. No. All right. Lysander is going to sit in Gavel's lap. <laughs> Let me see if I can find that deadly premonition long table. Because that's effectively what I'm looking <laughs> here, but mono, but up to ridiculous levels. Hear it then. How do you plan to convince me to not do as we uh, as is my right to with these apes? Well, 
question, am I allowed to speak again, or am I still under that? Yes. yes. That's, that is worn off. Well, first of all, because you won't... Because we know of a bigger threat than you, honestly, and they're going to destroy everything and rewrite everything. I doubt that you're strong enough to do anything about it, but... But if you actually want to do anything, there's a Death Lord that you need to kill first. And what, pray tell, is that? Oh. Oh, dear me, you weren't alive during the First Ages, were you? Oh, I was. Then you should know that they're much stronger than you. He actually starts laughing at this. D does it, doesn't she have, like, fourth circle shit? Uh, that's not a thing. She has third circle shit. Mm. I could have sworn that you said it was fourth circle. Uh, no, I think I, I, I think I may have misspoke if I did say that. In any case, after a good old laughing fit, he calms down. Anyway, no, no, we are the architects of this reality. I doubt that anything we, anything that you lot made can outgrace us. Ah, uh, well, uh, okay, so, hey, spider, you here? Huh, what? He says, halfway through unhinging his jaw to devour an entire oh, roast chicken. Do you want to tell them about your boss for us? Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you. Uh, so my boss is a badass. Speech. Speech, speech 100. <laughs> Do you think that your boss would be able to make this man a toothpick? Yeah. I mean, she'd probably have to blow through a few moats to do it, but yeah. Hmm, only a few moats. Well, I never claim to be the most martially capable of... Well, those are the only court that matters. We have other people for that. Hmm. You see, kings don't lead in battle. They don't lead from the front. Hmm. So who's your general, then? Because, I mean... Rem what, what was his name again? I can't even remember. I think it was that week. It was Octopus or something like that? <clears throat> ah, Octavian, the child of Munaxus. Yes. Him. There's been quite a st there's been quite a stir in the process of him reforming, which is still incomplete. Apparently, he's been inflicted with some infernal magics. Hi, that was us. No, that was her. I said us. Mm. Takes a sip of wine. In any case, do you know how many of us are downstairs? Do you know how many of you will probably be alive? Well, the point is, is that because of the hole you put us in, we are no longer in creation. If this Death Lord means to destroy creation, we will be wholly unaffected. It's not just creation that she's willing to destroy. It's everything. And also, where would you get your spirits and souls that you need if the creation's gone anyway? Oh, I know. I, I don't need such things. Hmm. Then why are you even meat. here, then? If you don't need creation, why are you so hyped on getting it? Or are you just hypocrites, the lot of you? What you're trying to do and catch me in a logical circle. It's not going to work, kid. Oh, trust me, I don't even care. Stop talking and let the adults handle things. Hmm? Well... Well, I'm the only one who's an adult enough to say that the answer is just bombs, apparently. Uh, well, if I may. No, you may not. <laughs> yes, I may. Anyway, yes, I may. Um, uh, Yolda. Uh, Mr. Yolda, first, um, you want any more? Uh, you want any more lamb chops with that? No. Okay, well, um... We realized that uh, you had a bit of a 
turbulent voyage uh, on the way from uh, on the way from uh, yeah, well, what's the name of the place that he comes from? Um, um, hold on, let me Mal- look at my notes. Malpheus. On the way, you had a bit of a turbulent journey on your way to Malpheus, what would be in uh, forced into reality by some sort of sidereal ritual and all. Uh, it's the kind of thing that definitely puts a bit of a hamper on uh, on your abilities, and I won't fault you for that. That's definitely a lot of... It's the kind of thing that you can't exactly plan for. But, to tell you the truth, uh, I'm a big fan... I'm a big fan of theatrics myself, and s- truth be told... I would say that whatever it is you're, um, whatever it is you're exactly planning, and by the way, I didn't quite manage to catch what it exactly is you intend to do with, uh, the meat, you said? You were a mistake, and I intend to start over and make... Better little prayer batteries for us. Right, right. With the egg, right. With your uh, rampant uh, distaste for ex- exalts. Right. Yes. That that is something that I was uh, at least a bit. Brief. If a man broke into your home and slaughtered your entire family, you would hate him. Yes. Eh, probably. No. Probably. Regardless. Um, he briefly glances at Lathander. Sneers continues. Well, regardless, what I'm trying to get at is simply put the venue. Uh, the flesh is willing, but the vent, but the venue is a bit lacking. I know. I know for a fact that you're not at at nearly the full capacity of your of your strength, thanks to Yachtan's botched ritual. It's not to say, that's not to say I think you're weaker, or anything of the sort. Far from it. Your presence demands the utmost respect, as is customary. But, I don't believe that if you wish, I believe that if you wish for the most proper results, uh, a proper ritual uh, a proper summoning is required to capture your full uh, magnificence, let's call it. I believe, and I believe, and that's why I think maybe it's best to return home. And uh, and who are you to claim this? Mm. Were you to give me orders? Not giving orders to anyone. I'm merely making a suggestion. I'm more, I am more, or a full boy. I am, uh, I am gentle morning aura welcomes the new world. Friend to all things. No. Fair enough. Though, I believe, I believe I know someone else who can convince you. I trust her with my very life, after all. Gavel? Yes. Why do you think uh, why do you think he should leave? Well, hmm. Well, I would say the mo- as as my dear compatriot has said, there's a bit of a bigger battle that will be going on towards once we get done with this little engagement, shall we say? Tell me, are you familiar with the name... Where is it? Final Glimmer of Fallen Stars, the Death Lord. That must be uh, the one that your freak of a friend, he says, looking over at Spider, referred to. A corpse should not keep moving. We designed that to stop moving after death. What's wrong with him? (laughs) Maybe you're just bad at designing things. At this point, Gnosis uh, nudges Lythander from his seat next to him. Hey, hey, you should throw your drink in his face. And he's going to try and persuade action on Lythander with double nines to convince him to throw 
for Lethander to throw his drink in Yolda's face. Oh no, hold on. I'm going, my charms? I'm going to activate uh, Sun King Radiance. That is ten successes. Oh, wow. I'm going to take a hard bargain and throw the drink into Gnosis's face. Okay. How dare you try to persuade me to do something. <laughs> Uh, you really are a lunar exalted, aren't you? Free spirit, do whatever the fuck you want. Damn the consequences for listening to someone else. I appreciate that in you, he says, patting you on the shoulder as he drips wine under your shirt. It's time to stop acting good, apparently. Apparently, Leopard was right. Spiders is apparently right. Everybody's just right. The world just needs to burn. We'll deal with the ashes later. Or oh, he says, patting you on the back more. <laughs> welcome to Lythander's Trader oh, Arc. No. Well, welcome to Lythander's... His Tokyo Ghoul second half arc. Mm. Because he's... Because tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. But anyway... Tell me how. Well, that's not what because this character is going to say. Like eight villains that did the exact same thing. Be why would they all eight of them have the exact same goal? <laughs> Their goals have been very fucking different, my man. They've all been the same. Just control the populace. Quite Octavian or just delete the populace. Octavian just wanted to fight a bunch of people. Yeah, and that would have killed the populace. You're describing, like, what, 50% of all villain plans in fiction now, you realize? Mm, yeah, maybe they're right, though. Oh my goodness. This is this is a new level of straw manning never, for, never before seen. <laughs> this is a whole fucking cornfield of straw man from Korak. <laughs> Next up, he's going to be fighting windmills and claiming they're giants. Oh, goodness. Regardless. No, it's a dragon. It's a dragon. <laughs> nah, ah, next stage up, I understand. Nah, that's clearly oh, Goku, man. actually. He's come from my... He's come from uh, my... That's clearly, he's come from my uh, chain. Kuroto Dan. Oh, my God. Uh, Malik uh, nudges uh, from across the aisle. Gadezvin wishes to say something to you, Gavel, on this matter. Yes, you what... You will speak only of Iolda and nothing else, Spear. Wait, say what? that again? Uh, he's talking to the second circle demon he has strapped to his back as a spear. Oh. Second circle, one of the Ligeer himself's second circles. Huh. He unshackles the uh, spear and holds it uh, midway through the haft, and it drifts across the table to land, leaning across Gavel's chair. Greetings. Gross. Yes. I have information on how to handle him as your stupid friend distracts him. A question, did Lythander hear any Nope, of that? this is telepathically to Gavel. Okay. What's it? Sorry, could you say that again? What, uh, a spear was saying? I have informa- I have some information on how to handle him. And what might that be? This is a deeply unpleasant man to deal with in Lygir's court. <laughs> he has certain rivalries with others in the city, the grand city of Brass. Yes. You, know, you already have the means of dealing with him summoned to your side. He's not a fan of theater. Oh, I see what you're talking about. To be helpful if you decide to engage him physically or to continue negotiating whatever this is. Indeed. And unfortunately, that's all I can say via the summoner's constraints. That's fine. I think I'll t I think I'll be able to take it from here. Yeah, that's when floats back across the table, and that's when Novari shows up. Hey, you rang. Yes. 
Novari, I think it's time we entertained our new guest, our new third circle guest properly, don't you think? I mean, him showing up and causing problems was the inciting act in the musical I planned on having. I figured as much, but I think it's time to get the band to really strike, don't you? Well, unfortunately, someone stole all the instruments. Okay, do you not... Do you not have any backup instruments? They stole the backups, too. What do you mean they stole... Whatever, fine. Um... I guess we could try going a cappella. <sighs> do you have... Anyone to do that? Or do I need to make some? I could hit a pretty good tune with that and so can my first circles. You know what? I'll leave that to you, then. If you truly believe you'll, you'll be able to keep in key with the acapella. Quartet of First Circle Demons emerges from his shadow, dressed like a barbershop quartet. You know what? Oh! <laughs> I like do the, that to start warming up. I like the style. That should work. And he... He moves to take a seat, and that's when... Yolda points at him and activates one of his qualities. Oh? All shall love me in despair. <laughs> um, demons always count as being part, as being his minions when he is out of Malpheus on errands. Bypassing oh, Eclipse Field uh, immunity. Mm. I would like to allow him to use Shadow Yoke Fury if he wants. Well, he's just going to command um, that, that Novari die. By oh, spending no. three motes for Imperial Command. Mm. Cool, I'm going yes, to Yes, this bypasses my... uh, Aura's Eclipse Field. Oh my goodness. Alright, I would like to uh, let him use Shadow Yoke Fury instead. Well, first let's have Yolda roll. Low, 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 please. Maybe. Uh-oh. Yes, he's spending an excellency on that. Oh so he's two goodness. motes, two motes down, twenty left. <laughs> oh goodness! Uh, let's have Yolda roll defense. Mm. Anyone want to do an assist action for Yolda? Or sorry, for for Novari. I will gladly assist Novari if I'm able to. Go ahead. Uh, what do I need to roll per se? Sagacity in order to. Either sagacity or presence would be acceptable in order to keep his uh, demonic flesh from e exploding itself. Uh, uh, question, uh, what do you have higher of? Do you have a max stat in any of them? I have max presence and sagacity, so both. Do you have a excellency in one I unfortunately other? do not. Cool, I'll activate greatness inspiring aura. That only helps in combat, but you could also roll this action instead, uh, Lathander, for performance. I believe it doesn't just activate in combat. Well, in any case, you could, this is a, this can be a performance-based action, too, so you can take the roll instead if you want. Adds uh, two success bonus to inspire rolls to build power. Allies with short range who have a positive intimacy towards the Exalt may use her, her performance or presence when making their own inspire actions, drawing an X... Oh, it's not an inspire action, never mind. Uh, you could still spend your performance excellency on this, though. Sure. I believe. And a thing called love. Oh my Ten goodness! Successes. Okay, Novari. Unless we is the wait is the doubling uh, nines active for us too? Uh, yes. So that is. Oh my. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh Novari goodness. rolls ten more dice. Thank goodness, please. He needs five more successes. Please. To resist please. a third circle demon. No! Oh, no! Two successes. It was destiny. He was I mean, fated to die. It, I mean, if it's a command thing, wouldn't Shattered Yoke Fury allow the breaking of it? Uh, this is a attack. Not a social influence. Okay, I thought it was a social. It's a social. It's a, it's a social. It's a social attack. Mm. Uh, Novari takes a dramatic injury. Uh, understandably so. Which one of you would be willing to host Novari until he is able to get back on his feet? 
Lysander. Oh, I wasn't expecting okay, that. Okay, um, all right. Novari fucking explodes. <laughs> oh, so you kill our friend. Oh, actually, I'm hiding inside you. You know what? That's fair. I do. I already have too many voices in there to begin with. What's one more? I don't sense too many voices here unless you're talking about past life memories. He gets bombarded with a bunch of random voices <laughs> that are all Lythander thinking, do I kill they, this? Do they I all say, this? do I just They all say, war? get scared, get scared, get scared, get scared, get scared. <laughs> nightmare, 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 yeah. nightmare. He gets, this is someone shoving Aang into the moment when he's talking with his past lives. He's <laughs> no idea what's going yeah. on. Uh, I don't know if anyone else knows that Novari survived. Or, for some reason, this does not seem to affect your truce field. Oh, goodness. So you killed one of our allies. No, he's not one of your allies. He's one of my subordinates. He was on my side all along. I was merely punishing a traitor. Something you should understand, given... Weren't you the one talking about traitors to your dear old husband? I was. But, again, a traitor has a chance to redeem themselves. Well, you for for you mortals, offer. maybe, but we have long memories in Malpheus. Hmm. You have long memories, so you should know that... Well, that's what he gets for writing a satire. That's what he gets for writing a satire about me. To be fair, Wait, that is pretty... you're just not a satire to begin with? To be with. fair, that is pretty bad. Yeah, he's... Re... He's seem like a Jew. Yeah, he has really thin skin. <laughs> because this is all just a joke, honestly. Because what do you even want with creation? If you said that you can survive without it and the destruction of it doesn't matter to you, then why come here? Oh. Unless you're a hypocrite. Are you a hypocrite? No, you're simply putting words on my map and jumping to your own conclusions. Oh, you my... humans keep putting patterns in things that aren't there. It's quite frustrating. Oh, yes, no. Do you know why? Because it's a, a survival instinct. I you argued against. To get I some. argued against putting survival instincts in you fucking apes. <laughs> no, no, we have to have them survive on their own. No, they have to be able to fend for themselves against predators. <laughs> Look where that got us. Yes, got up, got us being able to kill you. Isn't it funny? And on your own ends, it was from those traitors upstairs. He says, looking directly into the sun. Oh, yes, because, of course, the adventurers can only kill God with the help of God. Did you, did you just call me a, a god? He looks incre- He looks hey. the most offended you have ever- He, <laughs> he has done so far. He, insert rage face yeah, of yeah, your choice here. Hey, boss, you should just deal with these guys right here and now. Gnosis says, trying to convince his boss to break the truce field. Mm hmm. Uh -oh. Yeah, that's. Uh, that six. is. Um, six, seven. No, he doesn't double nine, so six successes. Uh, Novari. Uh, or, sorry, his resolve is lowered by two via mystery. via the hatred of the exalted. So. This would succeed unless someone wants to do a counter persuade action. Mm hmm. Okay, here's here's what I uh let's think here. Okay, this is uh this is gonna be difficult. I think I think Gavel should attempt it because uh out of all of us uh out of all of us y uh Yolda dislikes them the least. Yeah. Fair. Uh, right. I will have to have him roll against Fault a ceremony, though, and his pool actually isn't that great due to the summoning sickness. This is true. Mm -hmm. Five successes. Uh, defenders win ties, so he is not able to... You see him move to stand up and summon a weapon, and he, and he sits back down in his seat. You fucking vizier bastards. <laughs> Shaking in rage in place as he angrily takes another bite of a dinner roll. 
Is that good? Oh yeah, I mean, so you can't attack yet. No, I know, but you I would need the brakes. I know, but I, I, I just sort of like awkwardly go, pretty good, right? Food's pretty rad, eh? And that the, the, the is the dinner all pretty good? Is the dinner all good? The spider takes the night. Yeah, they're good rolls. I tell you, I conspicuously Yachtan does not respond if the dinner rolls are good. Or uh, I'm not, not, not Yachtan, uh, a Yolda, excuse me. Yes, exactly. I offer Yolda a uh, a bun. How dare you speak to me again after comparing us to those mistakes we made upstairs? Oh, you made That's them crazy. too. We made wow, you everything. guys love making things that are stronger than you, don't you? Oh, I, by the way, um, can I read intentions to check how to like fact Very check how accurate that is? Go ahead. How do I do that? Okay, so that would be... Pro Embassy or awareness? Embassy or awareness. Okay, I'll go ahead and uh, get an excellency on that. See if I can... Alright, that's eight successes. Wowza. Okay, his resolve is... Uh, uh, actually, you have double nines from Do I? That is true, yeah. Alright, so that's... Uh, social rule. So that's uh, ten successes. Okay, um, in a loose sense, that's true. He does seem to be telling the truth about him being involved, and you can tell this via a few hazy fa past life flashbacks to planning sequences during the Divine Revolution. Iolda did have some hand in designing humanity and natural world and animal species. What he didn't have a hand in designing is any of the gods. You specifically know that the Unconquered Son was created by Ligier himself, working with the topmost of his inner circle, as his plan to make the perfect little boy to uh, banish the wild via the shining orb in the sky. Mm. The perfect little Same boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, Luna was Aurabil. Luna was uh, not Aurabilis. Uh, what's the name of the impossibility guy? Oramos, the dragon beyond the world's fault of. Shoving 1,000 different potential ideas for uh, the moon into a box and making them fight each other until Luna came out as the winner. Oh, no. Yeah, summoning forth all of his nightmares. And the maidens just showed up one day and no one questioned where they came from. Mm hmm? Yeah, okay. So it's a half-truth, essentially. Yeah. And I'm like, eh, all right. Well, eh, I guess oh, you did design humanity. I don't know if you designed. I don't know. For the I record, think, like, giving you more than one kid, more, giving you more than one kidney is a mistake. You did not need a backup. Eh, it was pretty useful, though. So, I mean, that just proves you're not fa infallible. You messed up how many times? You didn't mess. Hmm. All right. They think it's a mess up. All right. So it's a mess up in their eyes. Look, what I'm trying to get at is, I think, what I think I'm trying to get at is, I think that this entire area situation was born from dissatisfaction, right? You think that, how, what can I get you to... What can I get you to... How can I get you to believe that... At the end of the day... Huma humanity has... Some intrinsic value. Like anything, really. Oh, it's not that humanity doesn't have intrinsic value. They're deeply fraud products. It's you bastards! Points out all the exalts present... That need to go. Is it... And that would... Why? You know, that's actually very fair, thinking about and it. And that would be why? Question, would you allow, would you be ruling with an iron fist, or would you let the normal mortals just do what they need to, to survive? I would be perfectly fine letting the animals tend the garden while we take care of planning the planting season. 
Honestly, that's the most fair thing I've ever heard out of anyone's mouth. Because honestly, from everything that we've seen, exalts don't deserve to breathe, honestly. That's crazy. 90% of them do not. Yue is giving you an absolute what-the-fuck face as he <laughs> shifts her wine. I mean, think about it. They're the ones who want to destroy everything. Wait, wait, wait one, one voter for another. What is your actual end goal with all of this shit? You're throwing 15 different contradictory statements here. Oh dear, dear, right. there is no end goal. I've just gave, gave up. What is it? All right. So, what you really, what you're really after is to emancipate, emancipate humanity from whatever capacity for interpersonal for interpersonal freedom they might have, it, up to and including the power to challenge. Uh, the power to challenge their creators as as given by Yes, as your friend Lythander just said as he just said, giving you any degree of power is a horrifying mistake. Look at what you've done with it. Gestures to all of creation around him. You, I, we, you get... I look at him dead in the eyes and says what about Jeffrey though? <laughs> Make a persuade action on him. Oh my goodness. No way. <laughs> Alright, uh, what do you need me to do here? Presence. I'll use performance. Not in this instance. Why not? You know what? Yeah, that's fair. I've, I've let you use performance against spirits before. Four, Four successes. Does not beat his resolve. Dang. But it's a question, though. It is a question. What he ignores. Oh, I see you're ignoring my question. Well, someone else asked me a question first. What was it? Oh, you said Sun Queen? I was, ma I was mainly just clarifying what it is you what it is you had the problem with. And I think I got not a good picture of it now. For that matter, if you agree with me, he says, looking at Lythander... Why don't you kill the other exalts here, then? He's going to try a persuasion action on the Thander to kill all the other exalted present. Uh-oh. Bending an excellency. Yes, sure. Oh, my goodness. Nine successes? All right. Uh, do I do a counter? My Thander just looks him dead in the eye and say, says bet. I'm going to attempt a counter persuade action to... Uh, Attempt to convince Lythander, uh, hey, don't fucking do that. Why not? What do I roll for Honestly, this? Honestly, he made too many good points. And what do I roll for this, Rex? Uh, it could be integrity. Uh, this is a demon not trying to mind control him, but trying to... Convince him to do something that would be incredibly self-destructive, because he's counted among exalts, and also he's been your friend throughout hundreds of different lifetimes. This would be really fucked up for him to just suddenly turn around and start killing you because someone asked him to. Yeah, also, um... Take a stunt with that, by the way. Alright, oh. I'll take my four, because I have... Let's see. Because life ain't... Yoga because... is now down four motes. I'm gonna attempt uh if an attempt to boost this uh if this doesn't work. Oh it worked. Ten successes. That is ten successes. How do you convince Lythander to not just uh go full the boys again? Because Lythander is uh charging up. Uh okay. What does Lythander really want? What does he actually want, Korak? He actually agrees with him full oh, heartedly. Goodness. That seems to differ from what you said 30 minutes ago as to what he wanted from this conversation. Lathander's not very consistent. I mean... Listen, Lathander just... Lathander honestly just feels Lithander. like... Why bother anymore? Lathander. 
he doesn't care. Lythander doesn't care anymore. So you have to try to give him a reason Lythander. to care. Okay. Lythander, if you kill all of us, you won't be able to make it to Spider's birthday party. <laughs> That's right. Spider's your and friend. That would, that your spider's your friend. You would have It would have cake. It would have uh, cool party favors. It would have Dance Dance Revolution. Hey, spider question. Do you want me at your birthday? Yeah, sure. But aren't you going to destroy the world before your birthday anyway? Conspicuous silence. Okay. <laughs> also, wouldn't you be happy that your friend killed you? Only if it were in a dramatic enough battle. I mean, this would be pretty dramatic. Or you could join me and slaughter everything, and then we just slaughter each other at the end. Sounds good. All right. But you wouldn't be able. You still wouldn't be able to go go to the birthday party because it's not today. I checked the calendar. Hey, Spider, when were you born? Or are we doing your exalt date? Uh, we could do either. Okay. It's, so no. that's in what? Neither, uh, neither, is, months. neither is today. A couple months? Uh, mm. I think it's uh, 25th Resplendent Air. Yeah. Mm. You'd be missing out. You... Yeah, that is a little spider. bit away. Uh, okay, Spider, counter question. Uh, what is better? Uh, fight, then cake, or fight and no cake? Fight, then cake. <laughs> Point <laughs> proven. No fighting and no killing, no slaughtering all mm. all all that exists until Spider's birthday. Mm. Yolda, he has a point. Gavel is just Gavel's just violently biting her knuckles at this point. This is this is mutter, why I am the master negotiator. <laughs> uh, under his breath, uh, uh, Yolda says, "Giving you the ability to resist our commands is not something you would decide with that asshole upstairs." God damn it, Luna! Oh, so Luna gave me this gift? You're chosen of the moon! <laughs> Am I? Who would have known? D did I piss him off and sufficiently we... to steal his shape? You can't steal a demon's shape. But why are you... Why not? They're not human. Or animal. I can steal animal shapes. They're not human. But they're also not... Also, they created humans, apparently. Meaning that I should be able to take the design of the Grand Architect. Sorry, but you do get your Exalt Milestone, at least. Anyway. Truth be told, it doesn't really... Truth be Why told... Why are you saying? You get EXP! There would at least be an attempt that if he can feel that his shape is slightly... Shifted, yeah, I will give you that, yeah. That stops it. Yeah. <sighs> Dang. I thought that would work. Anyway. That... And you would think that would qualify as a breach of your bullshit field. Lythan. I mean, you murdered somebody in front of us, and you would think that would be a breach of the field. I just wanted to see what I could get away with. Lythander just takes a huge draft of wine and throw... After drinking it, throws it behind him and then walks away. Lythander. Lythander gets bored easily. Thankfully, he doesn't mean... Thankfully, he means well, I think. I meant everything. Let, let's okay, put this means, on the table he now. Means, he means and, well. and Ilda leans forward. Any attempt at diplomacy here, a term I will put on the table without any form of argument, any concession from me, an apology for everything that man has said since I got here. From his mouth? From his own, from his own yes. house. Yes. Okay. Add that to the list of things to do and move on. <laughs> okay. All right. So, what do you want me to apologize? Well, about? uh, let. Uh, he's asking. Uh, he, like Thander hears this and goes back directly to Yolda. You said my entire family deserved to die. Well, you said that about mine as well. That's because it's true. What you said was... So you wanted... So what I did was just to show you 
what happens when one says one's entire family should die. By doing so, you've released something that says that, fine, you're going to do it to me. I'll do it to you without any remorse I'd either. Like, I apologize for I'd trying, like to, to, uh, I'd... trying to show you what would happen with that. I'd like to make a... I do deeply apologize about that. Uh, What's up, Bora? As we both know, words can sting deeply. So I do apologize if I were to hurt you in that, in that area. But it's one of those where you scarred me as well. So I do have to apologize for retaliation. Make a performance action to see if he accepts that apology with a stun. Ooh, hey. Okay. Difficulty will be set to eight due to his tie of hatred of the exalted. You got it, you oh passed! Oh my god. Uh, a... Eleven? Eleven forty-seven. Yola's is gonna take, gonna spend a moat to activate a, uh... Wait, no, that's not a moat quality that he could take. Uh, to hard bargain. For an apology yes. that he asked for. Yes. Yolta is a very complicated man. He has very his motives are very complex. <laughs> I can see the zero two man. He math. asked for an apology and I gave it a heartfelt apology too. I okay. think the hard bargain right. in this case will be, Lysander, all of a sudden he stops looking at you and just keeps looking around. And, and so I assume diplomacy is on the table since he's forgotten my existence? Uh, roll a, a 42 plus integrity check, Lysander. Oh. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh, this is not an attack 42. either. Zero. That's a botch. Yeah. Oh, hey, look, three ones, like the last oh. roll. Uh, Lathander, you kneel. I'll take a hard bargain. Okay. The hard bargain in this case would just be leaving the dinner table. Fine, I'll kneel. Okay. Why am I new? Ah, yes, there's the apology. Acknowledging your betters. <laughs> oh, that's what you meant by an apology. You wanted me on my hands and knees to apologize. <clears throat> I do apologize for not thinking of that before. Lower. I put my head to the floor. Is this better? Now go completely flat. <laughs> I become a worm. Now roll over. Is this... <laughs> Isn't this a little much? No. <laughs> now, to, get, to resume our negotiations. Alright. Lythander, cast Glorious Exalted Bolt. I uh, make a I make another fortitude plus integrity check in order to break the uh the faultless ceremony field. Oh boy. Two. Bolt's not getting anywhere. I'm using I am oh, okay. You have to be a five. Alright. Oh goodness. Now where were we? Ah yes. What what it would take to you attempts to get me to return to Malpheus. Yes. Yes. With your child out of the way, now I can talk with the adults in the room. It's okay, I like Thander. I'll get you. I'll get you a burger and later. I will kill <laughs> you, Aura. What? You like burger? I'm a vegetarian. A veggie burger. I'm a vegan, actually. <laughs> Those are veggie. Those are veggie. Gavel's in them. biting. Those Gavel's biting her knuckles harder. Those have vegan stuff in them. Uh, this whole time, the ashen ones have been uh very conspicuously passing around these salt shakers and trying to make protective circles around themselves out of the salt. 
with the mighty demon debating their leaders in the back of them. Anyway. There's a chain of salt going to make protective circles around themselves for if shit hits the fan. Andy! <laughs> exactly the exactly how I taught them. Anyways. Yep, they're prepared. Alright, bye. Apparently you do not want to... Apparently you have no reason in you, so take care. Anyways. Uh, you're still kneeling, my man. I'm gonna use, uh, Shattered Yoke Fury to break it. Uh, okay. You wanna form a major intimacy of rage toward Yolda? Yep. Oh boy. Alright. Uh, no, you don't have to necessarily attack him, and that is a... I spit at his feet. Okay. Yield is going to try and break the truce field again. Oh, no. Yeah! He fails. Thank goodness. All right. Oh, my goodness. It's at this point that <laughs> Malik runs up. No, 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 no. You don't understand. The spitting is considered a gift in this part as he acts, spends him up for thoughtful gift technique. The human, the, uh, the, uh, the mortal liquid is considered- No, it's the not, Lythander barks well. The means. mortal, the mortal, uh, liquid is considered to be a very prized resource, and giving it to you is considered the highest of honors. Exactly! You can build a house with that. <laughs> Thanks, Dune! <laughs> you can build a house with that. So, he, uh, Malik is gonna double nines on this. Oh, no. And uh... this gift does not offend. In fact, furthermore- Oh, my goodness. Lythander has left the building and is just sitting in a corner building will and power. <laughs> you can't build While power. While still kneeling. You can't build power. I'm, I broke out of the kneeling. Oh, right. Also, you, yeah, that's remember, right. Also, you can't, can't, yeah, that's true. Also, you can't build power. That also goes against the truce field. I am outside of the truce field. I walked out. Okay. I am no longer here. Okay. It's just attempts to follow Lythander out of the truce field. Anyone gonna Gnosis? stop him? I will. Gnosis? I will. Ed shows back up, I'd imagine. No, you don't. You're gonna sit here and learn proper etiquette. This will be the only don't thing I do this episode. Oh, come on. Yold is a much bigger threat than me. Don't you want to teach him matters? Hmm? I trust. I trust that they He's can. He's gonna try to persuade action on Ed. Oh, boy. Ed doesn't give a shit. He's got big integrity. <laughs> <laughs> Seven from uh, Gnosis. All right. Uh, uh, does Ed have any intimacies that would prevent him from engaging Eolda in combat? From engaging Eolda in combat? Fuck, that is a good question. Let me check Ed's sheet. Hmm. Virtues would also qualify here, too. Okay. I will never strike an unarmed foe. Uh, he's he is not armed right he's now. He's not he, armed. He, has food. he only has a dinner knife in his hands. Yes. All right, that qualifies. Defenders win ties. Bingo! Oh my goodness. You sense his magic poking at the back of your head, but through your devotion to a talkthon, or perhaps just you being that big of an edgelord, for once you resist the urge to murder... Urge defeated. Intrusive thoughts vanished. Intrusive thoughts Darker. The dark urge Sated. is no longer here. <laughs> the dirge. Sated. Sated. The dirge. Cerberist. Excellent. This is dinner. We should remain in well, partial. Oh, you know, someone did anything. Hey, Nui, why don't you go ahead and... What? What? No. He can, if you take the components from his corpse that are incredibly valuable, you'll finally be able to undo that greatest mistake of yours. This fucking guy. Oh, can I fucking, uh, hold on. No, that, no, that counts as an attack, right? Observer uh, deceiving. No, this is more persuasion. No, uh, this is observer. Persuasion. Oh, also, no, just uh, to let you observer. know, if Gnosis actually left with me, I'd be fighting Gnosis No, uh, on the observer spot deceiving attack of, uh, counts as an attack, right? It does, yeah. Uh, I wanted to silence him. Uh, that's fine. Uh, Nui is going to be committing two motes in order to... Uh, all of a sudden, she flops in her chair and starts making whale song. What? And, and scratching the back of her... Uh, and scratching her ear with her leg like a cat. 
Aura, you know what she just did is something you've only ever seen her do once. A a second Brazil Lunars have two massive ways to resist mind control that you know of from their magical skill set. The first is Lathander's bread and butter of get too angry to be mind controlled. The second is temporarily reducing their mental faculties to that of an animal in order to avoid being commanded to do something no matter how persuasive. Oh. Nice. That's my girl. Uh, for, yeah, for this scene, uh, New A mentally has the mind of a cat. Well. Cannot perceive, therefore cannot be persuaded. Can, cannot, break can truce, I, uh, can, cannot break truce field. Ah, uh, that's yep. good. Uh, and then I, and then I like, sidebar with, like, one of the Ashen ones. Hey, dude, uh, can, can you get, can you get my friend some, like, krill? Like, for the trip? Just, like, some krill? We actually do have storage of such we are going to use for fishing. Good. Yeah, yeah. She she, she could probably use some of that. Right like, away, man. While she is in that state. It's only for a little bit. And they uh, give uh, Nui uh, a second helping of Krill. Nice. Now, in regards to all, right. all of this, why is now not a good time, as you so claim? Because of this Death Lord... If they were a human, I could still defeat me and the rest of our court can defeat them still. The only... I should note, none of you fuckers ever actually beat me in combat. The only reason I surrendered was because my liege or bid me do so. Hmm. Then why don't you? Make a persuade action on... Convincing Yolda to fight Final Glimmer of Fallen Stars. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Uh, what do you need for that? Uh, presence plus force, and your anima effects may key into this here. Oh, boy. All right. So, all right. So, uh, one, two, three, four. Force plus, what was it again? Uh, force plus presence. Excellent. Uh, ten. Come on. Five successes. Unfortunately, he taps an intimacy. Oh, wait. Now, that wouldn't... Your anima effects might key into this here. Yes. Indeed. Also, I might, uh, you I get, might aid. Yeah, you get three pass, three auto successes as part of this, which he only is using a minor intimacy in this case. So that would breach that. Mm, let's see. Uh, he's going to accept this influence. Really? <laughs> and you have one overflow success if you want to instill anything into him. Um, what do I want to instill? Yeah, intimacy towards Gavel, the competent one. <laughs> uh, intimacy towards Gavel, we'll definitely go with that. Uh, what, what, what kind of intimacy do I want for Gavel? Um... Uh, I just gave one that would fit his character pretty well. Yeah, that's fair, honestly. Yeah, the confident one, sure. Or specifically Eolda. He turns about... the... Oh, sorry. Oh, how about we make a deal, Eolda? From one infernal to a third level demon. And Are you listening? Is... Yes, I am listening. The issue with that being, once I return, if if I'm understanding what you're suggesting and I return to Malpheus, you would need to summon me in order for me to come back for fighting this mistake. Could we do Indeed. that? Indeed. Uh, it would take another year to do so because a calibration is coming up in a couple months and she was summoned out of time. Or normally, third circle demons can only be summoned during calibration. The third circle, the sidereal magic bypassed that by bringing the future calamity several months in, or years or whatever from then to now. Ah. Gavel would need to get to Essence 5 and then summon him within a few months. Mm. Mm. Either that or we find a. Either that or we could find an, an Essence 5 Infernal to summon them for. To summon them for us, or an essence five solar, if any of them are around. Oh, oh goodness! Uh, there is one. I think he's currently in a coma up north because he's been infected with some real nasty poison from the other wild hunt. 
Here's what I'm proposing, dear Ielda. Kill Final Glimmer of Falling Star. Then you get to fight us. And if we should fall, you get to, you get to enact your plan. Get to fight you? What makes you think I want to fight you? Well, not- I'm sorry. You want to get rid of the exalts, yes? You want they to- must, They must bow or be brought down. Indeed. Well, I've... I've been getting a bit more attached to this exalts lifestyle, as it were. And I would rather, even though I am an infernal myself, I would not like to see my comrades be subjugated to such a fate. So, consider me and my troop the one stepping stone, the one little wall between you and your plan if you manage to kill Final Glimmer. So I must prove myself against you if I wish to continue my redesign. Indeed. At least without us directly interfering in your plan. There is a way that we could potentially meet both ways as we continue on this negotiation. I understand you Infernals will be meeting soon in Malpheus. Yes, for, for a little bit of a celebration, as it were. He... Pulls at his skin, and paper peels off of it like a scab. Gross. And the reason that he's blue, you realize, is it just because of non-human visual flair? Blue is the color of law in Malpheus. It is Cecilene's <laughs> royal color. And wow. demons are not allowed to look upon the color blue- upon this specific shade of blue. They oh. can't read their own laws. <laughs> That's right, yes, I remember you telling me that. Oh, he goodness. begins writing on a napkin, much like the Magna Carta was. Mm-hmm. On this paper is my symbol. You will draw this symbol on your troops, and they will be afforded safe passage through Malpheus. Hmm. Very kind of you. But... Them, if you bring them there, and negotiate... And this negotiation is not quite done. There's a few... The questions I still have in regards to how you even think you could take me. Or, more importantly, why I shouldn't just deal with... Even if these Ashens are under your protection, he gestures in the direction of the Wild Hunt. From what I understand of the situation, they are your enemies anyway. Why shouldn't I just kill them? Because we are trying to fulfill a bit of a... obligation. Of our own. To whom? Uh, let's see. Hold on. Or at least we were until this whole thing went sideways. Um. I'm trying to think. Is it in my notes or did I not write it down? Was it too, uh. Was it too, uh. To, um. I'm trying to think. Not SSD. Um, SSS? Uh, yes, actually. Okay. Actually, we get the souls of the fallen. Yes. And actually, she's been at this theater this whole time. <laughs> she hasn't said a fucking word. <clears throat> she's just been watching the fireworks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's delivered to you in blood reflection through a mirror as you're doing... What are you doing right now? I am building power. Okay, give me a second to think of what she says to you in that message she sends. You may want to save your energy for later. If Gavel succeeds in convincing him, you might be able to even further humiliate him later. Hmm. Do you want to see him die, or do you want to see him suffer? What if I want both? <laughs> it would be more effective to wait. And who's telling me this? Uh, Sky Sundering Shadow. Via communication, via reflection, as she is staring into her wine glass. She sees you reflected in it. Fine. By the by, I am authorized to give you a tool in assisting in your revenge, but we can go over the specifics after we're done with our meal. Dessert's almost here. You should come back. I'm not going anywhere near him. 
Shall I send a servant to, uh, uh, with some cake for you? No. Not even some coffee? No. Nothing? Not even a mint? Nothing. No. Not even a mint. Toothpick? No. As you wish. Thank you. God, I'm still technically an antagonist. Mm -mm. What was that? Guys, Thunder and Shadow is still technically an antagonist. Yeah. I yeah. Know. Just she has the ability to prioritize it. Okay, let's take all these pieces off the boards before I enact my plan. <laughs> anyway, back to the negotiations. Indeed. I will accept the terms of a duel. Provided several things. Such as? If I defeat you, I... I get your... I have permission to return to creation and begin resuming my plans immediately in post-haste. Once, once the result is made of the, of the duel, sure. Certainly. It shall only be your circle, and none of... He gestured towards all the other characters present, at Malik, at Shepard, at Nue, currently in a, in a, actually, no, wait, Nue is still an, an ally, so she would count. A uh, card to the table, he only wants to fight the party and the merits they have to bear, like the, the Ashen Ones and Nue, because they're on no, your sheets. No call-in assist, or at least not, not. Uh, a uh, caveat to that, if you want to add any character's presence, uh, via the <laughs> mi major milestone you'll be getting this session. Uh, to allies or compatriots or anything, you, those mm. could also be brought into the fight. All right. Uh, valid targets for that include Sky Sundering Shadow. Goodness sakes alive. Spider. <laughs> uh, the Shepherd. Really? The Shepherd? I mean, that actually makes sense, yeah. Uh, Ed. <laughs> oh. Uh, the demon squadron you recruited out from under Gnosis's nose as oh, yeah. a, as command. Yeah, they're part of your Indeed. they're part of your uh, your group now, or as followers, alternatively. Indeed. Oh. I think that we can agree to these terms. From that annoying moon. Well, I no, not he's there, not there. He's not. Exactly. As amusing as his apology was, I will require him to be on his best behavior. No I... more outbursts, no more insulting my family, else the duel shall be immediately forfeit. I will, if I may, a little, a little uh, modification to that, I will try, my honest and earnest, to try to have Lythander behave himself. We'll need another persuade action to him. Mm, all right. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, Lysander, would you like to aid Yolda in terms of making you not behave yourself? <laughs> One, two, three, four. No. Okay. Huh. Sli um, actually surprised. What? Please, please. How's that surprising? Please. I'm not even oh, there. So. Four, su four successes. Uh, Aura, you want to do an assist action? Yeah. Yeah, I will. <laughs> All right, you will need three more successes. Uh, what do I roll? Uh, you're going to need to roll Embassy. All right. Um... Plus Finesse. Okay, I will attempt my Embassy Excellency. See if I can work with this. That is six successes. Six? All right, Wowza. Gavel, roll three more dice. All three right. more dice. You need three One. more successes. Please, 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 please. Darn. Damn it. Uh, <clears throat> it's not that I doubt your best efforts. It's that I doubt he's capable of such. After all, his wife was the one responsible for killing my 
for killing my wife. <sighs> Gavel bites her lower lip in frustration. I will see what I can do about that, but I will, but I will honor your little caveat, sir. I doubt. I, I doubt that anyone would be capable of such a caveat, save perhaps Ligeia himself. Although, he could feel free to, should he encounter our king, he could feel free to say whatever to him. Let the consequences be its own punishment. Uh, may Ligeia judge, may Ligeia's judgments be infallible, as uh, for always, the, For the record, cetera, uh, cetera. Un unknown to... Uh, unknown to Yilda, Ligeia would find Lythander fucking hilarious. <laughs> That's awesome. He appreciates audacity, and he hasn't had a good court jester in forever. Oh my goodness. Now, would these terms be agreeable to you, Yilda? I would need several more concessions. Such as... I would need someone to document such. Well, oh, no. we would have, we would have had a perfect person to do so, but I believe uh, their spleen is still covering my lap. Hmm. Surprise! He has one of those. We shouldn't have. Oh, that's because he's possessing. Oh, I see. He's not dead. Should know how to follow orders like a good little second. This is why we forbade them to get therapy. They don't follow directions very well. Neither did Octavian, and look where that got him. True. I would suggest... A witness from heaven. Bring a sidereal exalt with you. A sidereal exalt? The shepherd sighs heavily. <laughs> I whistle and try to get Shepard's attention. I have been- I am here. Good. You heard him. It's not that I I don't want to, but I will for the sake of this. But the issue with this being is that I don't know if I can. What do you mean you don't know if you can? In a prior conflict, one of my past lives swore an oath to the fetic soul of... I was responsible for help killing Adrian. I have the, that which me. that which became Adorjan. Ah. The the river that lives, we I was assist I assisted in the construction and design of a dam that would still the river and thus kill a Yosi. Uh, and as a uh, terms of the surrender oaths. I personally, my, my first age of creations, swore to never show my face there again. And I don't know if that applies to this current incarnation. Is there any way you could va verify that? I'm going to have Yolda make a roll to see if he can verify that in his demonic vaults. Oh. Please. He, he does have a secondary pool of hellish gossip. I was about to say, please let that pool be worth something. Seven successes? Well... Oh, that's very amusing. You're a human turned into a goat. I was born like this. Even funnier! Shepard twitches in place. Don't break your own enchantment. Don't break your own enchantment. No, no, it won't affect you... magically. Oh, there'll be a lot of people wanting your blood, though. It'd be a death sentence to walk into there. Shepard. Second idea. You remember my... The shadow I met you with? I believe his name... Farwalk... Farseeker Suheel? Or something? From session one, the sidereal plant to spy on you people for the gold faction. Oh, yeah. Goodness sakes. I can send yeah. him. I can vouch to send him. Hmm... <laughs> Would this be He's not as he's not as martially skilled as me, but he's not he did not assist with the Adrian project. Would this be suitable for you, Iolda? I would permit it. 
then... Hmm. Hey! Hey! Uh, what's your intimacy strength of hatred of sidereal exalts? Uh, it is a... Let's see. Fuck. Sidereal exalts. It's a minor. Oh, okay. So not strong enough to trigger the great curse, then. Correct. That's acting against a major intimacy that could trigger Indeed. that. Indeed. Indeed. Because I don't want... Because fuck them I sidereal exalts. Yeah, in this case, uh, it's not supernaturally strong. That You just grit your teeth and... Uh, fine, mm -hmm. if you want people upstairs to notice, I'll swallow my pride. This time. Then we'll allow it this time. Oh, oh. He snaps his fingers. While we're informing all the realms of the proper order of things, we'll need a representative from downstairs as well. Ah, hells. He looks at Spider. Mm, yes? Is... <laughs> you want to join in a big fight? Why, yes, I would love to do so. Spider, you're on the troop now. Yes! He does a little fist pump in excitement. Fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> you're still alive. <laughs> As a GM. Yeah. I am too. It's kind of impressive. I've tried to get him killed too many times. <laughs> yeah, it almost worked once or twice. It yeah. almost worked in the April Fool's Day session. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness sakes. It would have it would have worked if your character had rolled a little better than that. Oh, we still absolutely goodness sakes alive. All right, what are uh, what are see some of these other concessions, Yolda? While we while the food's still warm, preferably. Oh well, they're bringing out dessert right now. Excellent. Coconuts all around. No, oh, less exciting, but. I oh, certainly no. won't complain. Ins inside the coconuts is another smaller coconut. Yeah, I suppose. Inside the coconut is another smaller coconut. You know, I and think it, like and Thander... It, <laughs> and inside the coconut is uh, a mushroom red bean cake. You know, I think Lythander would, would find this more amusing than I am, but I won't complain yet. And inside the mushroom bean cake is another smaller coconut. <laughs> <laughs> the one play. Of something else. Oh, goodness. But that small coconut's made of chocolate, so it's edible. Ah, much better. But what what, what else did you have in mind, Ialda? So far, these seem quite I, reasonable. I want Orabilis to return the book. Let's see. Orabilis, another third circle demon. You briefly made contact with him in Act 1, Episode 4. Couldn't uh, say. The so. end of wisdom. The keeper of Malpheus's stars. Ah. Uh, mm. A bunch of third circle demons represent parts of the environment. Ligeir is the sun. Uh, mm -hmm. Erembor is uh, the night. Munaxis is the caravan, the cavern of whispers. Iolda is, a cas is the castle. Oh, Arambor, or no, uh, Orbilis is the stars. All right. Apparently he owes him a book. Hmm. Alan would have to get into contact with them to make sure that would be an acceptable term, but I will at least attempt for them to give you that, this book back. Gonna try one final time to break the to break the truce field. He doesn't want to be agreeing to this. This is still not ideal for him. He still fails. <laughs> you see, uh, you've seen that the dude, uh, the art of the dude in class with every vein in his face bulging. Yes. Uh huh. That's that's the shepherd right now. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna shepherd. see if I can find. Shepard, you look like you want to say something, specifically to me. This so is would... quite the difficult... Ah, good, I found him. <laughs> found him. Yeah, this, is, this is... Yeah, this is the face that Shepard is making, trying to hold the older back beyond the truce field. <laughs> I am ready to blow somebody up at this uh... point. I think I'm at max power and max will. Let's Probably, see. yeah. Uh...
you ever want to fart and just a little bit comes oh, out? No. That's me right now. Egg Shepherd, you look like you want to say something specifically to me. So I'd recommend Yuck you Tan let is it still out. fucking interfering. Oh great. Also, who's in my brain? Uh Novari. Yeah, the, Novari. The playwright. Hey Novari, what do you think about me destroying everything? What do you mean? Oh, you know, just uh, firing off this. Uh, ah, you need the city. Uh, this forest. I mean, you could. Members of the wild hunt are here, and I have means to ensure that all your dudes will survive. Might want to wait until the big guy's gone, though. No, I want him in there. Uh, Lathander, roll to see if you can break through the truce field. Oh my god. Fortitude goodness. integrity. Two. No. Nope, the dinner is still going too well. And now is after dessert champagne in order to keep the truce going as long as possible. Gavel will take a singular sip of the champagne. It's pretty good champagne. Malik's okay. good on that end at least. Is there any anything else the old uh that should be all for now for me to return peacefully. Excellent. Then it will be of great honor to convene with you again back in Malthus. One final note I should make, however, before we sign off on this. Y yes. It need not be a battle to the It need not be a battle to the death. It could simply be a contest. It will be a battle to the death. A, a contest of what? To the death. We could decide on such later for now. I tire of these Blyrons, and he looks at the sun, which is now starting to shine even further overhead. That is irritating. I agree, but I hear it's I hear it's worse during this time of the seasons. Than it is normally, so I understand. Yes. We could work out the exact details of it later, but perhaps... Hmm. A debate. Prove to me why humans should exist. Hmm. Why? Lightbander walks in. Hmm, you're back. Uh, yeah, the the villain is literally... The, the villain is literally saying, Debate me! <laughs> <laughs> No. Lysander didn't hear you know that, what? so he's just here to eat his he eat I, the dessert. Right. Here's my answer to your... To make this go Here's my answer. Since he is now All right. and eating. Okay. So Aura puts her foot down. Actually, no. I refuse the question. You may have created humans, but I... I would argue that... In the state that... In the state that uh, humans currently reside in, uh, they have outgrown you. It's the kind of thing that I don't think someone like you, and for that reason, I don't think someone like you is owed a reason as to why humans should exist. Humans themselves are their own reason they should exist. There is no... You don't get to have the author uh you don't get to have the authority over whether or not they are capable of existing anymore. At least Uh Force plus presence, difficulty eight. Oh my goodness. Alright. Tempting for a stunt with uh calling over my virtue of everyone has value, everything has meaning. Go ahead, four dice. Uh, and uh, and Shepard will be uh, doing an assist action in order to try and grease the wheels here. And you have double nines, thanks to Malik. Cool. Let me... Um, is there any way I could boost this? Uh, well, uh, Aura, add, uh, add four more dice to your pool. How much is that at? Uh, 18 dice. All right, Lathander, you can assist Aura if you want to in order to get this fucker to go away. I don't want him to go away. I want him to die. You could, you could die later. First, he needs to go away. 
Fine, I will, uh, what do you, what stats do you want me to roll? Performance. Performance? Uh, just to let you know that I am at, uh, I am at, pl at my max, so I will get a, uh, two extra, I get two, no, I get three free successes. <laughs> what the heck is that? Not quite. Not, Not 154 quite. dice. <laughs> But you got, but you got uh, over. That is seven successes. Okay, Aura, uh, you're now at cap. Uh, is that two? Ex twenty. Is that two? Is that two extra dice exactly? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do it. Do okay, it. Okay, here we go. Hey. Oh my goodness. That's one, two, three, four. Well, uh, actually, uh, that's 14. one, two. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen successes. Yay! That gets over his, um, I forgot he had the un- he has a quality, uh, a social quality that makes it even more difficult to persuade him, but even with that boosted to nine, that still succeeds. And that's why the- and that's why you're an eclipse! Mm -hmm. Uh, Saul was looking at he's like, should I make her a dawn, or should I make her an eclipse? And now he's looking down, it's like, oh, okay, I made the right call, go ahead. <laughs> And Luna's just looking at Lythander like, what, what did I make? Oh no, Luna is very amused by you. Oh, okay. I don't know how, but... Luna thinks you're incredibly funny. That's how I pay the bills, baby. Yep. Alright, uh, you have... Uh, from nine, you have, uh, five overflow successes. Let's go to the social Limpwoods chart to see what else you could do to start working over this guy. Oh my goodness! Mm -hmm. Since I've 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 successfully downloaded this the the idea. Oh, this guy likes brazen. This guy likes brazen, uh, outspoken arguments instead of any kind of like. He's not. He doesn't. He 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 doesn't abide for disrespect, but he does prefer people to be outspoken and argumentative rather than trying to suck up to him. So I'm going to try this kind of technique. I have identified. Uh, yeah, I'm just scrolling into social influence right now to see. Ah, there it is. And thank you, Watermarks. You are incredibly valuable. Uh, you can spend your five uh, uh, to work with here. You could dissuade for two successes, instill a new intimacy for one, persuade for two, mm -hmm. which you're gonna uh, you're gonna be spending two from that in order to convince him to do this at all. I think. So yes, you're down to three successes, and I'm also, and I can also, and if uh, persuade, uh, and if I get a persuade, I can hypnotic time. You can also, you can also weaken for for the remaining three successes to eliminate one of his minor intimacies. Hey, I could do that, and I get, um, I get to use a hypnotic tongue technique. Uh, to oh my uh, god, you can make you can make him no longer racist with bonus successes. <laughs> Uh, to get bo to get bonus successes in in terms of my essence, I could go for a weekend. <laughs> Do you want to make him no longer racist towards humanity? I will now. I will spend two modes to attempt to solve racism. Oh goodness! Thank you, Vsauce Music, for for playing for ten hours while we've been running this podcast. <laughs> All right, er erasing his intimacy of uh, humans, disgusting flies, soul stir of ecological purposes from his sheet. Yay! They no longer serve ecological per preferences. He still fucking hates the exalted, though. Hmm. Oh, absolutely. Except infernals. All right, are you gonna oath seal that? Yep, own. Yep. Now I should note. For this oath to go through, Spider still needs to be alive. But that oath is broken now, anyway. The spider... the spider count as alive? He's undead. He's not not dead. He's not not alive. Really in that super weird middle ground where the soul hasn't quite left the body. Yeah, technically he's stuck forever at the exact moment of death. Alright, with that, uh, major or minor? Uh, major or minor oath? Hmm. Yep. 
uh, how, what's our uh, anima looking? At? What was our anima looking at? Uh, looking like at the start of the, the thing. Well, you've been spending a good amount of moats, haven't you? Uh, for this encounter. Yeah. Not really. I know you. You spent some moats on. Wait, did you use hypnotic tongue technique? Just now, that was the only thing I used. You might not be able to swear a a, a major oath then. Yeah, because... that, that's why I was thinking. Like, I'm just probably gonna seal a minor one. Okay. All right. In that. Ca- All right. That's good to know. Then, with that taken care of. Now I don't actually have the way to go back home. I will need. And spot and that's when Shepard steps forward. Hear me, by the terms of the surrender oath that you signed, I hereby banish you back to your prison. Yeah, okay. Well I'm gonna have good thing um, had a cab. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have uh the shepherd roll to banish him. With an excellency. Nice. Please. Please do well for once. That is that, that required ten successes. Uh, there we, we go. Oh, more we... than enough. Okay, you got it. Okay, good. Uh, he does the funny thing where he vanishes from reality again and then shows up in hundreds of different kata as he enters prismatic arrangement of creation form. Mm-hmm. But in addition to that, you see that mixed in what appears to be a a, a tiny hourglass he has spinning in his hoofed hand. He has entered a combination of that and the Emerald Gyre of Aeons. Oh, I see. Goodness. The time magic that made both the Gaul and El Dorado. Oh. Mm. With that, he punches um, Yolda and does something extra to him that we'll get back to later. But he is banished back to Malpheus. Malik attempts to attack... Let's have Malik roll and see if he can break the truth shield. That that problem is dealt with. <laughs> nope. Malik, uh, um, the second he's gone, Malik immediately moves to stab Gavel, but no. Nope. Yeah, sorry. Uh, dinner is still ongoing. Yeah. Do, is there any indication that Malik was going to move to try, or do, is Malik just, like, moves, a, like, twitches a little bit, and that was uh, it? He just twitches a little bit, I think. He's pretty mm. good at, at guarding his face. Are you comfortable in your seat there, Malik? Mm, A massive demon was just banished. There was a slight essence burst. Hmm, yes, quite. Mm, Check, please. And now, Lysander, he vanished. You you said the big guy making you angry is gone. Gavel lets... Gavel loosens her grip on on whatever was probably in her hand at the time. Life Ander, it's okay. The big scary man is gone. You can go back to playing you can go back to playing the Nintendo. Thank the fucking Yozy. Oh. That was some really quick thinking out there, boss. Oh. Gnosis seems genuinely incredibly disappointed. Really? You t- that worked? What the fuck? Aura? Yeah? Please never ask me to do that again. Sorry. I just felt no. You, f- no. That was fine. It was incredibly smart planning on your part. Just, please, never ask me to do that again. Yeah, I get you. I'm gonna go ahead and post a music video to demonstrate what's going on with the Ashen ones right now, because uh, Navari's magic still was uh working in the background, and the ambient effects that he was having on the environment. You see a spectral castle was still forming in the air around him the entire time it was happening. Oh. So he was starting to phase into reality and trying to seize control of everyone's minds and hearts via uh, the sky magic that Lythander knows. He was, it was building that up in the background. But instead, instead of succumbing to mind control, uh, this happens. Not literally so, because creation's technology isn't at that tech level, but instead... No way. <laughs> oh, good. A musical number begins. Well, Malik, you've had dinner. Are you ready for the show? And this also reaches the wild hunt as well. Oh, that's amazing. All right, boys. Cue the music. Here I, res- here I thought I respected you, but you've turned a war between... You- you've turned this into a farce. It was always a farce. 
A force to you, mayhaps, but... I'm seeing a complete victory here. When next the sun rises, we will be at war again, you realize. I'm extremely aware of this, yes. That's okay, we'll leave. It's at this point that some meat cutes begin visibly happening in the background. Of <laughs> several, a few of the Wild Hunt did come ashore in order to patrol and assist their liege in taking care of the anathema, but they comedically run into one of the Ashen Ones who was carrying some salt shipments over to sea and giving some krill for Nue. They crash into each other in an anime hello. Oh, man. Far across in the distance, <laughs> Unbreakable Chitin has a similar conversation where in the midst of a trip to a, a trip to fetch water, he finds a, a poor dragon blood having fallen in. He fishes them oh. out. It's the, it's the house of Celsi. <laughs> Not that you guys know what that is, but we'll get there in a bit, perhaps. Oh, uh, across, across both factions, love is beginning to bloom. Definitely oh. not. Definitely oh, not. Oh, Yosie, damn it. This is what he meant. During, and during the musical number happens, is a mix between a traditional Hollywood music number, like the La La Land opening I just posted, and mm -hmm. a lot more of a Bollywood number. Like, let me pull up the relevant clip from RRR. Oh, I ah, thought it was going to be a ah, good be a different Bollywood ah, film, but... Good, good, excellent. <laughs> oh, I would imagine uh, Aura and Gavel would be doing if they were caught in the dance number, too. Pretty much. <laughs> Respectively, they are both of them. Oh, goodness. Ah, good, I found the even more relevant gif. Oh, my goodness. This is what Common Rider Gaim should have been. No. <laughs> what? Well, it's about a dance troupe. They should have been doing Bollywood moves. They did. Oh, they did? Oh, okay. Meanwhile, uh, Nui snaps out of being a cat whale as... Wait, not yet. Not yet. She's providing the musical backing for the opening number <laughs> in whale song. <laughs> Something like that, yeah? Sky Sundering Shadow stands up. I'm genuinely impressed you did that without a fight breaking out. Oh, uh, it's, you know, right, there you it's go, what Rex. we do. It, it's, uh, it's what we do sometimes. A new, uh, she adds a minor tie of respect to Gavel to her sheet. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. What about to Lythander? She adds a minor tie of respect to Aura to her sheet. <laughs> okay. Yeah. In any case, Malik Mission is success. trying to do literally any kind of subterfuge, but he failed that role. He can't even gather the intel as his body is forcibly picking him up and marching him towards the edge of the beach in this music number. That's not what he literally says. What he actually says is something more like, your tricks will only save you for so long. You, Star Touch, get out of here. I'm sick of heaven interfering with our affairs on creation. He tries to attack the shepherd, but the oh, field no. is still up. Yeah. Shepherd just sips, just sips champagne and stares him down with his weird goat eyes. Shepherd, you know you can go it's now. It's probably. Before that, there is one other detail I wanted to investigate with someone on this island. Tell me, do you know of House of Celsi? Gazuntite? Let's expand that out a bit more. How much do, the, do you know about the realm? The true polity and control of Prasad? Welcome to the realm. Uh, not much. I only, I mostly know security forces and their military personnel. Uh, let's go to the world map for a teeny bit of a world building. Lathander, pay very close attention. No, you don't need to do that. I mean, Lathander might find. I mean, Lathander might want to pay attention because you think this story is going to be really funny. Let's see. So let's zoom in on Prasad, the Empire. Uh, if we go to the northwest, we see the continent in the center. The Blessed Isle is controlled by dragon bloods, as you are cert as I, I am. I was oh, just yes. about to say, as you know, but given that you are all from 
natives to this area, you probably genuinely don't know this. Anyway, uh, Prasad is, a, is nominally a tributary state of the realm. They're too far away for them to meaningfully project power at, both in terms of political maneuvers and in terms of the super weapon they have at the very core of the realm that killed all the fair folk. Right. It's too, it's out of its range. And, and it was actually mentioned in a previous episode of the podcast, Prasad is basically one step away from succeeding, like Texas actually keeps trying to do. <laughs> Got him. Korak was the one who made that joke, actually. I was just picking it up off the floor where he left it. That is fair. Got him. There are ten- In, on, in, honor, of, in honor of Korak. Got yep. him. Uh, there are ten great houses that govern the realm. What did I do? You made a funny joke about uh, Prasad being Texas. Did I? Yeah. I edit the podcast. I know these things. <laughs> when? Uh, back in Shempur. Back in- I don't remember Back that. all the way in Act 2. Like a year ago. Yeah. Oh. There are ten great houses. There used to be eleven. One great house decided to go and try and assassinate the Scarlet Empress. Nominal ruler of all the world. Or so the, Empo- or so the realm claims. At least a ruler of the Blessed Isle. That much is indisputable. The point is, is they tried a coup and it failed. Right... Rather than simply executing all of them outright, she executed a great deal of them and then tried to turn the remaining house into her personal shadow assassins. Huh. I'm here to ensure that he does not succeed. Whoever he is. I don't know the particular Celsi, I just know that one of their agents is planted here. A little spider pops out of his sleeve. Uh, yep, they planted him a couple years ago, and they'll probably be ordering him to strike soon. Yes, thank you, Frank. Pattern Spider darts back into his sleeves. Oh, by the way, uh, I couldn't help but notice a surge of particularly strange martial essence. Spider, p- p- Spider leans in. Why, yeah, I learned a special martial art from my teacher. You want me to show you? Spider's gonna roll join battle against the shepherd. Oh, no. This is fine. This is step one of several of the consequences of him breaking the oath. (laughs) Which do not affect the players, just him. Oh, boy. Full of bone and terror and horror rises from Jeffrey's back to surround him as he enters the advocate sepulcher of extinction form. Goodness sakes. So, when Aura has a that's rad moment, is there any visual acuity of that, of her learning and absorbing enemy techniques? What do you mean? In terms of her learning Eclipse OK effects. Uh, when, uh, when Aura goes, that's rad, uh, she essentially, uh, it's pretty much exactly what you're thinking. She sees some cool shit, and she goes... I could fucking do that. I could totally do that. Spider's having a similar... Or, or the shipper is having a similar reaction as Spider does a swing with the temple. He picks it up off the ground and tries to smack him over the head with a whole fucking temple. That Yes, this is a martial art. Don't question it. He deflects it with one palm. You know, I've never tried founding my own sidereal martial art before, but... We are the ones who invent these things, so, hmm. Spider seems genuinely annoyed that he deflected it without looking at him. (laughs) Actually, let's pull off to see how well the initial exchange goes. I'm starting to think Spider genuinely cannot tell how strong an opponent is just by looking. He's a little bit of a... He did the Vegeta point before he approached Shepard, yeah. Why not just let him at it? Well, Shepard succeeds point, by yeah. two successes. Wow. Well, he is letting me have it. The question is what it is. What exactly are the themes of this martial art, per se? Oh, pointing out how all life is pointless. That's not a sidereal martial art because that's not true. Yes, it is. No, it's not. And now is when they're going to start debating philosophy. Let's have them roll off against that. 
Spider's Pool and Shepherd's Pool. <laughs> Shepherd wow. wins by one success. Oh my goodness. Uh, can I do anything to uh, help Shepherd here? Are you hoping Shepherd or Spider? Oh, sorry. No, Spider. You can do an aid action to try to convince him of this philosophical point on how nihilism is cool and based. <laughs> Honestly, let's let's look at the facts here. If everybody wants this place destroyed, the higher powers want it destroyed, or they want to enslave us, or at least kill all of us who have any sort of power, what is the point of living? The point of living is that all of you people have the power to save this world. How many times yes, has from who? Ourselves? How many times have we had to fight off Exalted? How many times have we had to kill Exalted? How many times have we realized that Exalted were the problem all along? These problems started before us. The reason we were created in the first place yes, was... because of another. The reason we were created in the first place was to save the world from the Yozi who were tearing it apart. And to be the emissaries of our gods to be their will, to be their strength, to be their pawns. Yes. So by the end of it, Spider's right. It's all worthless if we're just pawns. No. We were meant to be made sacrifice, unless we make it to the end, to which then we achieve become a queen. That's not true. Do I get a stunt? You get a stunt for being angry, sure, but be careful about peeking the mic in the future. I didn't know. All right, Spider's going to roll three uh, more dice. Yep, that's five successes. Hey, okay, just need the one. Well, defenders win ties. I'm not sure who's defending in this case. Um, That is a great question, actually. I'm going to roll... That is a very good question. Of them is this I'm going to roll that neither of them can... Yes, it is. I'm going to roll that neither of them convince yeah. the other. They are okay. ideologically at a neutral state. They've they, it's, they, it's a draw. Oh wait, uh, question: Was this technically a social yes. action for the? Uh, so that was three extra successes to that. Okay, so he rolls economy. three more dice. So that would be eight successes. Three more dice. Oh my goodness. Uh, Shepard's gonna take a hard bargain. Oh my goodness. Okay. You uncharted yoke fury. No, he's not my ally. Okay. He is going to uh, spend a moat in order to... I forget the exact name of this sidereal charm, but it is a way to fend off social influence by citing trivia. <laughs> oh my goodness. He looks at Lythander. Did you know that the mushrooms that you created here on this island today will be vitally important to helping to starve off a future plague? Just a fun fact. What? Oh, he says that. Oh, he says that as a know. complete non sequitur to whatever Spider just said. What? What? I am going to destroy all my mushrooms. Too late. They've already spread off this aisle. He says, pocketing. He says, of uh, picking one up in his hand and putting it in his coat. Is that just because you put it in your pocket? He just smiles mysteriously. <laughs> hey, mushroom in there. Rip yourself out. Can't hear you. So your pockets are soundproof? Yes. How? He just smiles. <sighs> you know what? I hate everything about this. You know what? Who would have thought that Yolda was right? Oh, goodness. Wait, hang on a second. Why do you think he's right? What do you actually believe here in this situation? Oh, right, that we're the cause of all of creation's problems or whatever? No, we're the solution. I mean, yeah. Ha, <laughs> ha, that's what they all say. That sounds very much like a lot of leaders. Well, if you believe that we're all the problem, what are you actually going to do? Surely you're not going to follow what this jackass he says deflecting another punch from Spider, is going to do and kill everything, are you? Mm, 
I might listen to my friend, uh, Sky Southern Shadow. Uh, she looks down from the, uh, post, uh, prosthetic jaw cleaning she was doing, because it is still a prosthetic. She doesn't seem to clean it out regularly for sanitation reasons. She plugs her jaw, holds her hand up, plugs her jaw back into the holes. Right, yeah, this world is broken beyond repair, so we need to make a new one. Right, Lathander? Yeah, pretty much. Good, cool. Gavel is pinching the bridge of her nose. Uh, he is going to make a read intentions roll on Sky Sundering Shadow. I mean, hey, whatever. We can cross that bridge when we get to it. Hey, we Six solved the successes. problem. His eyes go absolutely buck wild. In order to make a new world from a completely different cosmological structure, you will need to examine the poles. Oh, so finally someone asks about that. Yeah, I'm planning... The reason I wanted all that red jade was I was going to go and check out the South Pole Elemental Pole of Fire. Can't make a new world if I don't understand how this one was put together, now can I? You realize getting getting there is incredibly difficult in and of itself. What are you going to do to it? She's just going to examine it. Sky Star or Shadow does not answer. No, oh, that's that's totally reassuring. Sky, I am going. Please, I am so only that. going to examine it. Is the anti lie detecting charm turned on, Aura? Uh, the anti lie detecting charm. Oh no, the lie detecting charm. Sorry. Hold on. Uh, I can turn it on now. If you want to, yeah. Uh. Let me check. Uh, Judge's ear technique, or no, I don't have that one. You have something along the lines of that. Uh, I have unconquered. Can... I have unconquered sun sight. It's not all right. That that doesn't. It, anyone want to do a read intentions on sky sundering shadow? Uh uh sure. All right, go ahead and uh, give me a roll of your choice of awareness or awareness, embassy, or presence. Whichever one of those is your better. Uh, awareness is at a three, so I'll do that. And go ahead and add a stunt because your delivery of sky made me laugh. <laughs> uh, eight successes. Wowza. What specifically do you want to know about that? What are you going to do to the pole? Uh, she's going to take apart the elemental pole of fire to see how it works, and then put it back together, and then put it back together. Mm-hmm. Sky, you do know taking it apart's a bad thing, right? Not with the plans I have in order to contain the backlash. Are these plans tested? Conspicuous silence. Sky! It's like you just said. We need to make an omelet. In order to make an omelet, e breaking of eggs is required. And if we want to make I a better... Produce an omelet with no eggs. Why don't she let you do that? My straw. Not a liquid. A yolk is a liquid, and I am puncturing the egg and then bending it. Okay, I'll allow it. Oh, 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 actually, your flask would be better suited for this. Yeah. It would be, but I want to use my magic straw. Sorry, the use of magic. The point is, I am aware of the risks, and I am prepared for it. Sky, I thought you actually had a solid plan here. I have a solid plan. Taking apart something that you don't understand is a terrible idea. I do understand how it works. It is the generative pole of fire that provides one of the five elements throughout all creation. Yes, and if you were to disassemble it, who says the leak of mana wouldn't stop it from working? It's, but yes. Essence, it's fine. 
the leak of essence would stop it from working. Because the elemental, the greater elemental dragon of fire, Hesia, should be around there somewhere to fix it if it comes to that. You're acting like I haven't thought this through. It's all I've been thinking of since my death. You know, I quite like fire, so I'd, r I'd rather it not go away anytime soon. And who were to say that if you were to take it apart, Hestia would, would disappear or lose all understanding of it? A uh, side note, from what she was saying about fire... A uh, uh, side note from rolling so high on that, Lathander, you see her visibly bristle a little bit when the words fire was mentioned. Maybe a clue as to how she got the Black Exaltation in the first place. Given mm. you learn from Spider, you need to die in order to get it. I wonder how she died. I understand. Why not do something that you have less of a trauma to first? You don't have any trauma from dying in that explosion, if that's what you're asking. I didn't know how she died, but okay. There was a- she's from Yazir. There was a lab accident. Uh, more on that later in any case. <laughs> I'm surprised Social Combat is still going with a new target. I'm very mm. here for it, though. Oh, boy. Yay! I'm being very confrontational lately. Okay. Yeah, at least this one is more cordial. Yeah. Alrighty, now, Sky. Why are you giving me reason to distrust you here? Not distrusting you, I- Not to say that you're not a genius, because honestly you are. I can handle this, you realize. You're acting like this is an instant destroy all creation button. No, it isn't. I have plans. I can show you my plans. Excuse me, uh, what, what what's the person who- I actually don't remember the name of the other person in this conversation. Shepard? Shepard, yes, so thank you. Would you mind, Shepard, looking through the plans first to see if that... It, because apparently Shepard knows about these poles a little bit more. And is shocked that you would think of doing such a thing. And why would I trust, so and why would I trust one of the spooks upstairs? Shepard, why should she trust you? I... What exactly is your problem? You want to... I, w I wish to seek a new world, because this one... To make a new world, because this one is irreparably broken. He he yes. sighs in a way that I can't completely dispute what you're saying. The issue with that is that no one has ever... People have taken shavings off the poles. That much is true. Particularly the pole of Earth, since... It is at the center. It is the mountain you could see from everywhere in creation. He points at the mountain you could see from everywhere in creation. And yes, that's been there the whole time. Where the hell was that? It's been there the whole time. It's Mount Meru, the very, cent the very center of the center. I don't see it. It's not on the map. You see the Blessed Isle? No. Right over here. Yeah. The yeah, center. See that. You see that mountain in the center? That? Yeah. There's a portal. Is it actually that that tall that I can see from over Yeah, here? from all the way in Prasad. It's, it's, it's a little dot in the horizon, but yes. You can fuck Blue Eyes White yeah. Dragon on that mountain. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, Passiap. What about a top Passiap there? is, uh, is, uh, is the Earth Dragon. So not a uh, different color, but his eyes might be blue. Who knows? Oh no, wait, White Jade is Earth, so he may in fact be a Blue Eyes White Dragon! Oh, no. Did I just accidentally make a reel? <laughs> yes, you did. I mean, Hestia is probably a Red Eyes Black Dragon. Yeah, actually, because, yeah, Red Jade, so yeah. Oh, uh, goodness. For, for reference, uh, Danad is uh, blue and black, although I would jokingly say that her color should just be the Pride Flag, because she's the canonically trans uh, Great Dragon. Nice. So, uh, pink and blue yeah. and white. Got it. 
Next is Jillis, is the wood dragon. I guess green and brown. So shit stain, got it. He would think that's funny. He's into all the... Uh, he... Let's just leave it at sexes, Jillis would watch Monster Mates and move on. <laughs> oh, no! Right. Same! I mean, true, yeah. And, uh, Mela is, uh, let's see. Air is blue, Jade, so blue and... Uh, uh blue and yellow, I think. But let's see. We've gone off topic to the, to Kin assigning Yu-Gi-Oh! monsters to the Elemental Dragons. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Yeah, because they just be tor uh blaster, red, red ox, and Um, you're gonna need to do a persuade action in order to convince uh Sky Surrendering Shadow to trust Shepard. I'm asking Shepard is why is there isn't a reason for her trust. Because there's a fairly solid chance any chance of Okay. There's two options here, but I don't see either of them ending well. Option A, she examines the poles and destroys them and sends all the creation into doom spiral. Option B, I go back up into heaven. I go through all of the makers of the world's archives. I go into a Toxon's laboratory to find the blueprints of such. How long do you live for? I'm immortal. I live for another 3,000 years. I don't know if I'll be able to find it in that time. Can you not have anybody help you with this search? So, is that acceptable, Sky? You'll need a persuade action on her. Alright, uh, what do you want me to use for the persuade? Your choice of presence or embassy, and this is difficulty 8, boosted by her major virtue of ambition. Oh boy. <sighs> no stunned, I'm guessing. Uh, if you want to describe this in a particularly cool way of how you're convincing her to not uh, jackmine the core of the earth. Surprised this ig I'm surprised the reason her plan is so dangerous came up this late in the campaign. Oh, goodness. This up sooner. Well, we never asked. That is fair. You never asked. We, we never asked what would be the steps into doing such a thing. We just kind of straight up hated it. But we also kind of needed her help a bit. Yeah, we straight up uh, just did social combat. She was very was present. People on site. We haven't had murder in this campaign often. I mean, in this arc, no. Not in this but... arc, yeah. Neon, <laughs> both oh, Neon and the economy are both super dead. And it's at this point that Nue snaps out of it and barfs up the economy's skeleton. Oh, pfft. Which she had swallowed for the past few episodes. To prevent people stealing it. Oh, man. Right. But, uh, so. Oh, Scott. Oh, sorry, sorry. Give so me a. <laughs> throws up another few bones. <laughs> so, Sky, if, the, if we were able to fetch you the blueprints, would that work better? So that you can see exactly how they were made. Out of stunt. Oh, come on. Wow. I want to give eight actions for Lathander? Absolutely. You need seven um, more successes. Oh, wait, so a... social influence. Three auto successes. Oh, oh good one. Yes, too. so four successes. Oh, that means that I had 12 successes on the last roll. Okay. So you only need four more successes. I'll still... Pref oh. Yep. Okay, eight action. Lathander, roll four more dice. Goodness sakes, Aura. Yes. And, and Gavel can assist as well, oh, since okay. Lathander's still not at cap. What do you What do you need me to do? But uh, would you be helping Lathander out? Lathander, so this is how usually one goes about finding blueprints for these sorts of things, especially when it, especially in a dipshit place like heaven. Let me teach you about the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, go ahead, uh, Embassy, then. All right, embassy. Uh, any attri uh, What attribute For do you fortitude, want? Fortitude, because you're going through fortitude. a lot of bullshit. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can deal with that. Actually, don't I have a thing? Hold on. I do have an. I do have a uh, excellency in embassy. Funny enough. Nice. Um, now would be the time. Popping that. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Uh, Lander, you have an intimacy towards Sky Sundering Shadow, right? Uh, my Sky get owned. Change and reword it into whatever you feel about. What do you feel about her now? I feel like she is a good friend that I would like to help out. Okay, then add a dice for your lunar ability then. That does not count towards count. Okay. Five successes. So that is five successes. Uh, so, so I get two extra dice. Three extra dice, counting the lunar bonus. Yeah. Me tens. No. Not quite. You got two successes, though. 69, baby. Nice. Uh, let me count, actually. Okay, so you had how many dice added total from 10... You still have three more dice potentially added left. New A can make an assist action. Oh boy. Okay. Steps over. Looks at... Um, she steps forward. I have fought a lot of elementals in my day. The greater elemental dragon of fire is not someone I would fight on my own, Sky. Are you sure you don't just want to sacrifice a few centuries... Digging through archives rather than risk all of your plans falling apart. I'm going to roll her a war pool, which is a secondary pool for her. She is spending an excellency, though. All right, Lathander, roll three more dice. Hey, we did it. The in Literally the entire party working together. <laughs> yeah. There is a long silence as behind you see the gears in her eyes turn as she is visibly very, very carefully thinking this over. You do realize that I would need to be up in heaven in order to... I have means of getting you up into heaven under a few criteria... This is going to take a lot of political maneuvering and time, more importantly. I have within means to, the means to offer you a job. What? Why? I can deputize... I can deputize an enemy of fate, a creature of death, into the service of the celestial bureaucracy, and that could give you the clearance you need. I mean, what do you say to that, Sky? Do I need to interview first? What do you think this whole conversation has been? <laughs> you sneaky bastard. You really are sidereal. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I'm in. People compare sidereals to Jedi all the time for good reason. Oh my god, I think that... <laughs> I, I think that the performance c caption would be Ewan McGregor for... <laughs> for oh. the Shepherd. Oh my goodness. I'm going to need to do an Obi-Wan Kenobi impression for him from now on. Make make Ian McGregor a uh Hello a, there. A, a a goat OC. That's not gonna like a, work. Like a goat yeah, yeah, it only works on short. Don't it? say goat Darn. OC. <laughs> oh Come no, on. no, don't say goat OC. No, no, no. What about goats? No! no And then Alright, that's the end. Alright, that's that the end, alright. That's why I emphasize those words in the particular way I did. Anyways. I will... The end. Let's see what we can do about what this access can actually get me. And presuming I can even get to heaven in one piece, then we'll consider talking about all of this. I should note the Neverborn will not be happy that I am... There's going to be complications from the Neverborn. I'm sure it's complications we can handle. For some reason, the studio audience laugh track kicks in. Anyway, uh, uh oh. With that, uh, spider depart or shepherd departs, and and uh, it's at this point that Sky makes eye contact with Lathander. How old are you? Twelve. Since you exalted, I take it. I don't know how, how old am I, Rex. I. Uh, you would have been exalted for no more than five years, I think, for starting Lunars. Okay. So do you want pre or post exaltation age? Post. Post five. Expecting a timetable of 
let's say a hundred years. If we haven't made progress, I'll need to reconsider looking at the polls again. Two fifty. One hundred seventy five. Two twenty five. Two hundred and no lower. Deal. That was Lythander just looks sky in the eyes and says, I was going to say two hundred at first, you know. Well, time to... I'm going to say that 200 years in the future will be well outside the source of this campaign. You haven't resolved Sky Star Dark Shadow as an antagonist entirely, but... I mean, she's now my friend. Your friend? You could still fight your friends. That's what Spider's been doing this whole time. I know, but... The spider doesn't count. Wow. <laughs> So, that's over with. It's at this point that the musical number finishes. Uh, the generals of the uh, Ashen Ones all come up to Gavel with signs of partying all over them. Yes. We are going to need to fight Eold at some point in the future, yes? Yes. And you, we're going to need to drill. It was very difficult to fight Octavian without... Anyone dying, it was mainly due to... I'm surprised we pulled it off at all. And that was on our home turf. That was here, uh, General. Or Indeed. We're going to need to do a lot of preparation. Uh, translation. Ventures will be required in the future in order to have any chance of survival for the Ashen Ones. Oh boy, alright. Additionally, uh, as part of the anti-mind control stuff... Way back when, I think you were interested in every man a devil. Since you'll be hitting Essence 4 soon, you could turn the entire Ashen Ones into Demon Bloods now. Oh my god, that's right! <laughs> yes, because I have- I, I already have- I already have the base version every of every man a devil, so... Yeah, since I'll be hitting Essence- or since we'll be hitting Essence 4, I could totally get that. Oh, yes. You could even still make them look mostly human, too. Uh, there's a mostly. pirate group- in the northwest called the Lintha, that are demon blood pirates that I'm imagining the Ashen Ones to slowly look more and more like a non-evil version of. Mm-hmm. These guys aren't eugenicists or fascists. Oh, They're great. They're communists. <laughs> so Awesome. Great. Exactly what, uh, what Gavel loves. Remember, they, oh they only they, they invented communism via Shattered Yoke Fury to avoid Heart Eater Mind Control. <laughs> that is that is insane. Is there anything you guys want to do or say to each other before we close out? Uh I hate you all. Malik. He pauses at the very edge of the shores. Before he boards the boat back. Well, you're good. I know you're about to do the thing I'm going to say to you anyways, but please get the fuck off my island. He does indeed get the fuck off your island. Hmm? He does get the fuck off your island. Excellent. Uh, well, I'm glad that's over. Although, he does pause, like, as the boat starts rowing away. And yet, I don't think you- and yet I still think you're at a disadvantage. Is he just because I wasn't able to physically do anything doesn't mean I couldn't gather intel. Oh, I'm sure you've gathered plenty uh, of intel does during the. Do you have any mind wiping techniques? <laughs> like, you need to be physically within range of him to do that. For theft of memory. I would like to. Uh, can I disguise myself? Fly as a bird and land on his shoulder. Uh, roll finesse plus stealth. Oh boy. Finesse plus stealth. Okay. Alright, so that's going to be three. Oh. Stealth I have as... So that's going to be seven dice. Uh, both Malik and... Any stunts? And, yes, a stunt from how audacious this is. <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, that is five six or six successes. A roll from Malik and a roll for the Shikari, keeping an eye out for you by his side. Excellency boosted. Seven. Uh, did you add a stunt for that, Korak? No, I did not. All right, add a so let me add my stunt. No, oh. anybody want to throw a grenade action? Anyone throw a grenade action for a subterfuge? 
Uh, Gavel will, being like, hey, look at me, ha ha ha, look at me, being the infernal that I am. And the one you're trying to kill, but you can't kill me yet, ha ha ha. Sounds good. Uh... Yeah, well, the, the, the protection charm only wears off once the food finishes digesting, that's how the dinner works. <laughs> oh, goodness. Alright, what do you need me to roll? Uh, roll war plus force. Excellent. Uh, alright. And I'm gonna use my. I'm gonna spend another mode for an. Or yeah, I'm gonna do another excellency for war. Uh, let's see. Ba ba ba. So one, two, three, seven, eight. Uh, and da da. Yeah, so that should be. Uh, da da da. Keep an eye on no. Well, yeah, Ed is keeping an eye on Gnosis. Indeed. Ten successes. Seven, seven dice. Yep, seven dice. You just need like two more successes, I think. There you go. <laughs> uh, so that's uh, six more successes. As he was bragging on this, you land on his shoulder as a little hummingbird. And wait, where'd all that intel go? I'm assuming that's the memory you stole. Yes, I'm stealing the intel. He no longer remembers what Jeffrey looks like. Or like the interior of it, at least. That's amazing. And that you just see a couple of stones on the hummingbird as it flies back. Or flies onto Je into a nest in Jeffrey's head. Well, it's a good thing he wasn't the only dragon blood there gathering intel. Mm. Yes, It'll still I'm... be important, though. It'll mean they'll be rolling with a lower dice pool. Yes, I'm sure you've gathered a lot of intel during your stay here. And quite frankly, I don't give much of a damn right now. I also stole our names from his memory. <laughs> okay, that would trigger a stillness of stone uh, meditation, but you still roll too I'm high. Joking okay. on that. Okay. That's a joke. Okay. He realizes that some memory fuckery has happened, and he starts swearing at you as he as he has sailed off. What at me specifically? Oh, that shepherd. Oh, that me specifically. Oh wait, actually, did did. Are they making a uh, shepherd test? Oh, what do you mean? That goat person rowing the boats? No, that's just an anonymous dockhand. Ignore resplendent destinies. Cover uh... identity. They're powerful enough even e even when you're a beast folk. Nobody can recognize you without rolling. Mm. Actually, I'll have the Shikari and Malik roll to see if they pierce that. Oh, goodness. Four. Malik does not. Does the Shikari. Five. Let's Successes. have Malik roll stealth, which he isn't super great at. <laughs> Somehow he does it. Almost as many successes as there are dice in his eight die pool of, <laughs> of clumsy stealth. As he just continues rowing, you share a knowing... Uh, he shares a knowing look with, uh, Lythander, and then points towards Sky. Keep an eye on her, she doesn't do anything stupid. You heard that, Sky? I'm your chaperone now. Uh, Sky commit- uh, Sky's gonna build Will. What are you doing, Sky? Leaving. I have preparations to do now. In order Eight to get you more seven. weapons for this war. And with that, she uh, opens Thank a you. door to the dead and steps through the underworld, and it closes behind her. Okay. Malik? He, he left. Okay, yes. Good. All right. And, and we, the camera slowly pans to Gnosis and Ed. Gnosis is pouting like a baby the whole fucking time. <laughs> you were supposed to fight him. What the fuck is this talking him down shit? No war has ever been done with words. This is not how it's supposed to go. You were supposed to kill the Wild Hunt. Not with the them. Demon Lord. Not become it. You're supposed to destroy He's, he's the shouting demon. all this at Aura specifically because she was the one who like signed off on all the deals. <clears throat> Though some of this directed at Gavel too. Don't tell us oh. how to do our job. Lythander was in the murder camp. This yeah, he's not yelling at Lathander. 
Don't tell us how to do our jobs. Well, you can expect me to not give you a fucking inch of help, then. That's okay, we don't care. <laughs> yes, though. If you let me on as I am, I will just continue to kill and kill and kill. That's so okay. it looks like you're going to need to break your oath, and then the camera pans to Ed. That's okay. Ed, can you take care of this one? With pleasure. Come. His face falls. Motherfucker! <laughs> Come, we must go. Our planet needs us. The animation cells of them rise into the air. Perhaps literally, Ed, if, Ed, Ed and Gnosis die on their way to their home planet. Oh no. Well, no, Gnosis has the stone to prevent death. They might activate then. Is there anything else Ed wants to say before he leaves the campaign for the immediate future? Don't forget me. I certainly won't forget you. By the way, it's two days to my retirement, and here's a picture of my family. It's a toaster. He leave. It would be really funny if he did turn on that anti-gravity charm and flew all the way to heaven. True. Is he could he could technically do that? He could. I could. Uh, Ed has many, many powers, as you know. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, they leave via some means, then, as the whole time Gnosis is pouting. Oh, I'll knock you off your high horse. This is not the end of me. You'll see. You'll all see! <laughs> Nui gets back up off the floor, spits out the krill. Damn, that was really impressive. Thanks. Uh, I don't know how we managed to do that, but for right now, I'm glad that it did succeed. We do have to still fight him in the future, but that gives That's... us time to prepare. Exactly. We can get reinforcements if we need it. We can get the proper armaments, and we can get some better battle plans laid out. That's when That's... Cornea Seltz is going to roll one more thing to show up right the fuck now. Oh, boy. The messenger from way at the start of Act 2. Mm-hmm. Seven successes. Gavel, Cornea Seltz is waiting for you in your tent. Why the fuck are you here? I thought we left off on good terms, and I merely wanted to give you the formal invitation to the all thing. And I'm certainly glad for that, but what specifically, why the fuck are you in my tent? Uh, he tosses you a set of keys. To your oh. townhouse. I s my... Okay. You're entitled to a domicile in Malpheus. In the royal right. palace. It's like Phoenix Gavel, imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. It's like the only good part of Texas. Austin. Oh, goodness. Not entirely wrong. <laughs> um, it lasts for, it, as I understand, it lasts... Wrangling all the Infernals has proven far more difficult than my progenitor imagined. The phrase herding cats comes to mind, but cats are easier to direct. I'd imagine so, especially given my my other Infernal siblings, as it were. You speak of Moses of Brass and Sand, I take it. Uh, amongst others, but yes. There are there are some worse than him. I entirely believe that, and I'm and I'm prepared to meet some of them at this gathering. I have heard tell that one of the unquestionables is returning on the five day trek through the endless desert. You convince him to stand down. That is quite impressive. Add that in adventures to your dismantling of. Octavian's Empire Overnight, you are quite the sensation in the Demon City now. What can I say? I aim to please Ligier. And to please some of the unquestionables you have, unfortunately, with as many powerful demon princes as there are, some people will be offended that Octavian had some investors in his pies that... 
would recommend you to bring your forces with you, but it seems you already have a sigil of passage. Thankfully, yes. That won't stop all of them, it will only stop most of them. Be prepared for strife when you arrive, and one thing I will say ahead of time, no silence. Always be sure there is some noise playing around you at all times. Why? Silence in the Demon City is a sign that the Silent Wind is there, murdering everything around her. I see. I'll keep that in mind. I... Actually, I believe I know just the, p just the little performer to make sure that doesn't occur. Let's see, any other messages to pass along? Uh, oh yeah, there is a tournament uh, for the right to uh, wield Lygir's sword in the battle. Really now? It's nowhere near as complicated as the little contest I saw in uh, Shampoor. This is fighting the sword itself. Oh, it's one of those arrangements. Oh, I've always enjoyed them myself. Yes, if you are able to defeat the sword, you are able to call upon its power for once. Mm. I'll have to look into that. Do you know how many other contestants are are enlisted for this fight? At least three. Eh, not bad, then. And apparently not all of them are actually Infernals. One may be a Lunar in disguise. Oh, that's just lovely. But... Get there when we get there, I suppose. Um. Well, hmm. I was here to merely to give you the keys and to give you some public safety advice. There used to be a lot of poison miasma in the city, but one of the other infernals assisted greatly in cleaning that up. That's and good. Cordy self looks at the camera. That's also no longer can in this edition, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> oh. Either way, thank thank you for the safety advice and for the new keys. So we have further messages and keys to deliver. If you excuse me, he puts on he he puts on a Hawaiian t shirt and a straw hat. I'm uh -huh. off. <laughs> I'm off to Untag for another message and a vacation spot. Well, you certainly enjoy that then. He gets on a surf. He gets on a skateboard and rolls away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness are there any other tasks or ventures you guys want to do before we close things off at the three hour mark I believe I'm good I am also good Lythander are you good do you need to do anything else um, okay you, 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 you can get started on growing your mushroom army next time perhaps perhaps I have to get good at doing a good orc voice. Mm. Good crumpet. Remember, you gotta you gotta say it from your upper diaphragm, not from your throat. You're right. You see, we're going to get into the war. Arc. Yes, yes, we are. Next time, the actual wild hunt. Well, no, the wild hunt's been going, but next time is when actual armed conflict starts instead of the subterfuge and champion duels and artillery strikes. Next and time, constant interruptions from the from other players. Next time, hey. I'm, but no, before, I'm talking, but I'm talking about third party players such but as. But before we end the episode, we have to thank our patrons. Yes, let's thank our beautiful Wait, patrons, patrons who, unlike Yoctan, are beautiful. Thank you, GB and Storm, for being at our six di sided dice tier. Thank All you, right. GB and Storm. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Even this little bit of help is allowing you know us to support the Patreon. Or, well, no, support you the podcast. You make our lives worth living. You make this podcast pay for itself in the long term a little bit. So that we can continue to afford roofs over our heads and still tell funny stories about funny little Strunkos saving the world. Yay. We are now closer to the end game. Correct, we might be done within a year. Yay. That's way too <laughs> Hey. This I'm a little is, offended. This campaign has been wild. It has, yeah. We're in the end game <laughs> now. It has been a wild hunt. Oh! It is, it is. Tish. I know! Thank you for listening to Fate Breakers. We here at the Action Economy crew are proud to bring you this and other AP content, like Tomb of the Red Giant, the first half of our complete JoJo's Bizarre Adventure AP, as well as Rune Runners, our icon AP. 
We'll also have a Patreon by the time you hear this. If you like what you've heard so far, feel free to drop us a little bit of money if you can afford to do so, and we could bring you even more content in the future. APs live and die by word of mouth, so if you liked us, please uh, drop us a follow, like, share, retweet, whatever you can think of to help us out. We are excited to bring you more bi-weekly content in two weeks from now for the next Fate Breakers and other episodes time permitting. See you then.